Hello, Internet, and welcome to the GGK podcast. We are super excited to be here. Hi. Uh, the, I can't do off-stream bits. You already fucked up streams. my transition by continuing to talk through it. Don't also confuse the audience. <laughs> we were we were doing goofs before uh, we goofs. The, the stream. Hello, everyone. Hi. Put it in the uh, chat if you'd like for us to do a Podcast. Try to I'll do a put podcast in the chat again. that we're that we're not, unless somebody wants to step up and do it. That's not me. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, we're here to play some more Star Wars Five E. Welcome back to Neon Souls Season Four. Uh, the we're, we're super excited to be here. Uh, and I, this is whole all just completely thrown off my usual flow. Uh, and I did that to myself. Um. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you're watching us live right now, welcome. Uh, you can. Uh, we, we really appreciate all the clicking, all the buttons, and doing all the things, and joining us for all our shows throughout the week. Uh, I never leave our next regularly scheduled live stream. If you end up liking what you see here today, will be on Saturday uh, for our double header. Uh, we'll be back with more uh, Strixhaven, uh, the where we're doing some Candlekeep mysteries. I'll let Van talk about that since he runs it. And then uh, in the afternoon, we'll be playing more Blades in the Dark with Hearts of Stone. Uh, and I run that one as well. Uh, I, I really think that's about it. We should be getting back into our kind of normal schedule over the next few weeks. Uh, so join us for all the things. And if you're watching us on YouTube, head over to our Twitch page and you can see everything we're doing right now, whatever that might be in the future. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and let my lovely players introduce themselves, talk about a little bit about who they, who they are, what they do on and off this channel, and who they're playing tonight, uh, starting, I believe, with Van. It's me. Hi, I'm Van. You can find me on the internet at Van, but Wilder, pretty much wherever you can find people on the internet. Mostly I hang out in the Discord and stream here on Twitch several times a week. Uh, Sunday nights on twitch.tv slash hack recklessly playing Dungeons and Dragons uh, and then playing in several games here and running Dungeons and Dragons on uh, Saturday mornings uh, for the first part of the two part Saturday double header. Um, the Strixhaven crew is back and we're doing some high level shit. We're doing the two highest level Candlekeep mysteries. Um, and so right now they're in the middle of the desert. Kind of pissed at me specifically, actually, based on what happened in the last session but that's okay. i'm gonna die in five days they might die in five days they got tangled up uh with i missed some... one episode they got tangled up with some creatures that i watched have... a vhs tape i miss one <laughs> fucking episode oh, that's right rachel's in there the druid misses one episode <laughs> uh soraya slept through soraya was taking a nap on the carpet when this happened and we um, thought we'd have a movie night. We watched The Ring, and now we're all cursed. Now you're today, all cursed. Yeah, they're all cursed. Now I, have to I won't come back and burn two fifth level spells to fix it. <laughs> I uh, won't spoil what happened, but that was the outcome. So come hang out with us. And there's going to be more fun stuff as they're going into a cave that they already know is monster territory. I'm very excited. This one has a lot of uh, creepy crawly creatures that I personally am a big fan of. So yeah coming out and took our fun. wish to fight more things and and ramped it up and I'm i so the encounters in this one are really good and fun yeah. and i i left them in i don't usually do a lot of like environmental encounters and stuff but these are these are legitimately really fun so yeah um that's what i'm i'm so looking forward to saturday you guys i got something in my pocket it's gonna be great but that's okay that's not what we're doing tonight what we're doing tonight is i am playing shiro who is a nautilin operative and sort of unwilling dad now. <laughs> That's okay. Thanks, fan. 50-50 shot. Who's next? Rachel? It's me. <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm Rachel. Or Rachel Elizabeth. Or Rachel Elizabeth. With a Z in the middle. Instead of an S. Uh, I am also on Hack Recklessly on Sundays uh, playing some Dungeons & Dragons. And I am here on Saturday mornings playing some Dungeons & Dragons. You miss one episode and your friends are all cursed. That's what happens when you're the party healer slash druid. Uh, so I won't, I won't be doing that again. <laughs> um, and, uh, today I am playing Niren, the Zeltron Night Sister Order Monk and Willing now 
mother. And Sita, your last. It's me. Hi, Mom. Hi, Internet. It's me, Sita. Uh, you can find me at most places on the Internet at Mr. Wilt, M-R underscore W-Y-L-D-T. Um, or you can go to uh, my Instagram that I might someday post on again. That's John.Sita. Um, I wish you would. I like your food pics. It's just been a while. I don't know. I haven't made anything new. I, I've got a creative rut with the cooking. Uh, but that's not what I do here on this channel. What I do here on this channel is lurk around a whole lot and uh, play on Mondays in the Red Jenny game that uh, Val runs uh, again, now that I've finally passed the, the power back over. Um, but uh, yeah, come check that out. We're about to do a uh, poker heist. It's going to be all sorts of Ocean's Eleven awesome. And I can't wait for that. Uh, but tonight... I am playing X008, also known as Splat. Who's your puppy? Who's your puppy? Uh, who is a, a uh, psychokinetic goo that they found in a container. Who's your puppy? Raven's super excited. Uh, <laughs> hi, everyone. I'm Val. Uh, you can find me at the Kraken's Crown uh, lurking around the internet. I am here several days a week playing and running games. Uh, talked about most of the games I run on this channel uh, are in this one, Saturdays, Blades in the Dark, our show uh, Hearts of Stone, and then Mondays, uh, running the Dragon Age Cherry uh with the Red Jenny crew, and very excited to be back with that. Uh, I'm doing some, doing some uh, Casino Royale bullshit uh, with this crew. So, uh, and then I am also over on Hack Recklessly on Sundays playing D&D as well. Are y'all ready to get started? Yeah. Okay. Fashion montage. Fashion montage. Speaking of which, previously on Neon Souls, uh, the crew of the Velvet Luster found themselves aboard the, uh, well, uh, in the aftermath, I guess, of a bar fight uh, that two of the crew members had gotten into uh, at GTF Zero Station. Um, is <laughs> slaughtering a, a group of uh, mercenaries who are looking for uh, payback for a job gone wrong. Uh, Niren and Splat uh, had successfully uh, fought off the belt runners and killed their leader Shaw uh, and uh, found themselves recovering from that. Uh, Shiro arriving shortly after, uh, the crew exchanged some tense conversation, uh, some uh, uh, dadding from Shiro, uh, as well as some, uh, I guess, teening from, uh, from Splat, uh, being very disappointed in Shiro for not being there when, when he was needed. Uh, you were finally all corralled. The family drama put aside, uh, you were corralled, uh, back into Taro Tar's, uh, office, um, where uh, the large uh, squid-faced man uh, uh, thanked you for dealing with the riffraff, uh, said that he would collect his money from whatever holdings Shaw and the Belt Runners had, as well as the last surviving member of the Belt Runners, um, and finally uh, put the cards on the table for your new job, uh, laying out the details of your crew, uh, offering your crew the chance to make over make 200,000 credits uh, by securing a uh, crashed or the salvage from a crashed IDIS cruise liner. Um, in order to do so, you'd have to accomplish several tasks that he would pay you for uh, in installments of that 200000 along the way. Uh, first and foremost being uh, obtaining the, uh, essentially the black box data core uh, that contained the flight records from this IDIS uh, uh, ship. You, he told you that uh, by his reporting and his uh, insight uh, leads him, led him to believe that the data core was in the hands of Prince Justinian Quantus Branriel Avsolisk, the CFO of IDIS, uh, as well as one of the uh, children of the Avsolisk uh, dynasty um, that runs a, a quarter of the galaxy. Um, 
that uh, the prince uh, Justinian pro would have this data core on his person, uh, and that it would be your job to somehow secure it from him via, via by force or otherwise. Uh, he did ask you to try to not make too much of a scene with it, but uh, said whatever methods you wish to employ were your own, um, as long as at the end of the day, uh, the data core was obtained quickly uh, so that y'all could obtain the salvage uh, before anyone else did. Um, you were able to track down uh, the prince's movements, uh, uh, Shiro reaching out to a uh, contact with the um, Galactic uh, News Network, um, you had, uh, I believe, oh, what was the name of this? Oh, it was, um, hold on. Which of the Voltron crew was this one? Uh, Lance. Was it Lance? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lance, uh, was your, uh. My bit's been found out. Yeah, I did find out your bit Damn, last before time. I even got to just be like, the whole plan was for me to come up with an NPC and then I was going to be like, uh, what's their name? Van? What's their name? <laughs> and then, but I think once out. we got to like Pidge and Hunk, it was probably <laughs> yeah. Was as over. soon as you it named anyone Pidge or Hunk, I think I would have figured it out. Yeah, because uh, I had Shiro. We had, we had Shiro, we had Lance, and we had Keith. And right now I'm going how... by Keith. You're going by Keith. That's right. Damn, um, <laughs> three names. I'm proud of you. Yeah, you got further than I think I should have let you. And uh, I was going to have to remember the other characters' names. Yeah, um, but through speaking with your uh, with your contact, uh, uh, Lance, you were uh, able to find out that the uh, Prince uh, Absolisk was going to be attending an auction at uh, in the Phantasm Nebula, uh, uh, specifically at the... Uh, IDIS or the um, uh, IDIS run station of, uh, oh crap, what did I name it? Uh, Joy Station. Universal uh, Studios. Yeah. Uh, at Joy Station, um, you uh, found out that he would be attending this auction that was held once a year uh, called the uh, Cosmic Infinity Auction. Um, you would uh, decide to infiltrate and see if you could grab the data core that you needed at this uh, event. Uh, you arrived at Joy Station to be greeted with the sights and sounds and wonders of a uh, galactic scale theme park. Uh, quickly learning of the uh, uh, kind of income disparity uh, from those that attend the park uh, with the various experiences that are allowed and how expensive they are. Uh, paying for the gold experience, the lowest of them, you find yourself crammed in with throngs of people and they're waiting over 12 hours for attractions uh, at the park uh, and quickly realized this would not get you to where you needed to be. Uh, however, you spotted a little bit of uh, shady business going on in the alleyways uh, as you entered the park. Uh, as a young woman uh, seemed to be uh, engaging in some sort of nefarious uh, uh, activity with a family, uh, seemed to be buying some uh, ex uh, some higher level experiences or some upgrades uh, to their uh, to their vacation packages. Is it nefarious if the person you're screwing out of a few thousand dollars is fucking Disney? It's sorry, I does. Uh, Disney doesn't exist anymore. It's Good. a conglomeration, the unification of Apple and Disney. I dis. Uh, you had... Guys, I think we're going to have to kill Val. <laughs> <laughs> um, you had, uh, you approached this, uh, this hacker who uh, gave you the name Zephyr, uh, and through some psychic powers and uses of persuasion, uh, were able to get them to agree to uh, upgrading your uh, passes. Uh, in exchange, Zephyr, uh, intuiting that you were here for the uh, auction, uh, requested a specific item they seemed very excited about that was gonna be up for auction, a vintage Earth Prime Goofy keychain. Um, you agreed to obtain this for Zephyr in exchange for the upgrade. 
uh, they agreed, uh, and you ascended into the upper platforms of the of Joy Station, arriving in the most exclusive section of uh, this uh, this spaceport, um, with uh, uh, hardly anyone around, uh, just the, the enough people to uh, uh, dressed in in vintage Earth clothing, such as a astronaut suit uh and victorian dresses and uh as well as some like greasers uh like all sorts of uh hodgepodge mismatched uh uh earth uh, regalia um you decide in order to uh, uh to to fit in that you uh, needed to do some shopping yourself uh so you made your way to one of the fine retail establishments uh, of the Stellar Platinum Luxury Experience District uh, and did a lot of shopping. Uh, and you got your fashion for the event. And I think that's pretty much where we left off last time. Um, I totally forgot what I named the, the fashion place to. Uh, it was a pun. And it's gone. I remember it being so. good. Yeah. Does that help? I uh, uh yeah, that I do appreciate that, and it's gone forever, and it will never appear again. The store vanishes as you step outside of it, so I don't I have mean, to remember. It's definitely what it was. in the vod, but okay. Yeah, um, but uh, you have successfully uh, gotten your disguises to to fit in. Um, what would you like to do? I think we want to remind everybody of what we're wearing. <laughs> Please do. Again, this is not what you're wearing to the auction. This is just what you're wearing right now. Yeah. That's what we want to cut forward to the auction and have you guys uh, reveal your, your auction attire. We can do that in a second. I just think we look really good right now. Okay. Because Shiro is wearing um, aviators and the yellow jumpsuit from Kill Bill. Yes. Do Niren and, and Splat remember what they were wearing? Yes. I believe I was wearing Cher's iconic, this is an Alaya uh, outfit from the Valley Party. Right. <laughs> yes, correct. Uh, and Splat is just uh, super punked themselves out with like uh, patchwork jeans and, uh, you know, lots of spikes and stuff, even more punky than they were before. And I think they've also taken their kind of flopped over tentacle look and gone to full mohawk style with it yes nice forward fashion that's the name of it the shop the shop reappears uh forward was... fashion yeah i get it because you had to give the four words and they gave you your outfits for that oh yeah fashion. don't accidentally curse at them <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they don't like it <laughs> i don't All think they care and i didn't like the it. response <laughs> in unison um, it's really creepy <clears throat> so you you have some time uh the actual event for the auction isn't set to take place for uh i think i said like two days from the day you got there um so you you have a bit of time until the uh, uh until the auction takes place is there anything you'd like to do in the meantime hmm. i mean spot wants to do everything if y'all just want to like go to check out different experiences around the park and uh do, do we need to do any recon is gonna be shiro's question that's that is, is there one. any way we can do both i don't see why not yeah do we know where the auction is being held here you know it's at the cosmic infinity auction house okay so that's that's a place Yes. Got it. So maybe we make our way there and do some stuff along the way. Sounds good to me. Um, there are uh, many uh, attendant androids uh, around that you can ask directions from, uh, or there are some kiosks as well that will uh, point you in, uh, give you a map of the park. I'm going to add one more uh, note to the attire because I think it might actually be present. Uh, they've got a uh, a large Hello Kitty backpack uh, that has like 
like a like the weapon and like the the alternative outfits and stuff like shoved in there. I like Lovely. it. Lovely. Yeah, I think you all sent most of them, but had most of them delivered back to the ship. Uh, maybe maybe carrying around some stuff with you. I think splat carrying alternative outfits is a good idea in general yeah. because they can change their form, but they can't change their clothes with their form. That's fair. Uh, okay, so you head over to one of the androids to ask for directions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you approach, and uh, one of those like identically dressed, uh, identical uh, uh, androids uh, uh, looks at you, uh, kind of like drawing attention as you as you approach, and they go, "Hi, how can I help you?" Um, we're looking for the auction house. The Cosmic Affinity Auction House, yes. Uh, you will find it, and it kind of points uh, and gestures. Um, <clears throat> uh, and you can see, uh, as you follow the line of their, uh, like, the where they're pointing or gesturing to, you see hovering in the air uh, about... 100, 150 feet uh, above the platform with cascading waterfalls pouring over the edges of it is a, a, like, like essentially a suspended or like hovering platform, kind of just like gliding through the district. Uh, you can see like gold uh, filigree, like white marble statues of like galloping horses on each, like uh, that are like uh, flanking the waterfalls uh, the waterfalls appear to be like hollow projected because they sort of dissipate uh, in the like halfway down to the ground below um, and uh, this like just gleaming platform uh, with this like obsidian base is just like kind of hovering through uh, the sky it says unfortunately it's closed until the event uh, but if you wish to view it there you go Thank you. Um, when does uh, when will it descend for the event? Uh, you see, like, kind of processes for a bit and says, 6 p.m. in two days. Oh, thank you. J just don't want to be late. Of course. Please make sure you have your invitation on hand. I don't have it with me at the, at the moment. Andrew just nods. Steps back. Uh, look into it for anything else you guys want to do. There are many other amenities that are available today if you wish to engage in any of the uh, marvelous experiences that we have here in Joy Station. Might I recommend, if you're in a uh, in a spirit of fortune and luck, the Nebula Casino is a personal favorite of mine. There's also the Galactic Adventures theme park, uh, which can be accessed on any level, as well as the Quantum Ring, uh, which is our exclusive nightclub experience. Thank you. Hey, should you need anything else, please let me know. We can do two of those things. That's great, because we love those last two options. Good. So, casino? Nope. 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 No. No? No. We're, we're not going. To, I'm not going. taking these motherfuckers to a casino no fucking way. It was one time. <laughs> we are not going to the casino. I won't get into a fight again. That's really not what I'm concerned about, if I'm being totally honest. Oh, right. I think that sounds great. We are going to okay. have to, like, make sure we have invitations to this joint. It feels like a tomorrow problem. Are we sure? <sighs> Theme park nightclub. All right. If we were to be able to see some of these invitations, we might be able to forge documents of uh, our own. I'm sure somebody's we are quite... posted pictures of that shit, right? Oh, 
on it could future be worth Instagram. A, a check. <laughs> future Instagram. Yeah. Nice. I'll also, Instagram 17.0. <laughs> Uh, I'll also remind just the nature of like when playing like a sci fi universe, most of the invitations are probably digital like uh, invitations. Right. Um, and you do have a hacker friend uh, now if you wanted to ask Zephyr to, to hook you up. Oh, that's true. But. Um, feels like sh when she hooked us up, she should have just given those to us because she wants us to steal this thing. Yeah, wouldn't, that probably should have been part of that conversation. That probably honest. should have been part of the conversation. We should have, like, yeah. could we, like, retcon that? <laughs> <laughs> you can just say you sent a text. Give us the stuff. invitations, Val. I'll text her. <laughs> I wasn't going to make it a whole thing, uh, but yeah. Uh, I know yeah, we, we never know with you what's going to be a whole thing. <laughs> Got to keep you on your toes. Again. We're going to steal another. You trip like... over a set of three invitations. You're just lying on the ground. Uh, there they are. You have them. We have to go win them at the casino. <laughs> Listen, that was uh, on my mind, too. Zephyr I definitely makes want y'all to go to the casino. Zephyr makes us steal a, a vintage Mickey. I don't know. Goofy keychain. No, another thing. Something else. Oh, oh. Uh, one of those Burger King glasses <laughs> from back <laughs> what, in the day. What Remember do you put those? They had like the, the, the piggy the Disney bank. and Lion King. <laughs> oh, oh, piggy yeah. bank. I was like, what? <laughs> what's this? This thing right here. I don't know what it is. The piggy <laughs> bank. <laughs> uh, my, my toothless yeah. piggy bank that has Zephyr, zero money in it. Uh, you can you can send Zephyr a text, uh, and uh, they'll uh, she'll respond and be like and and just say on it. Uh, and we'll we'll work on getting those to you. Cool. Rides. Oh look! Now we have nothing to do but have fun. So Once. casino. You're not here. I'm not allowed. <laughs> I've been told I can't go to the casino. <laughs> uh, I think Shira would probably be talked into going to the casino. Listen, you know that you don't I'm not have a to bet. There, you can bet things other than money at the casino. Well, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> we can't take a teen to a sex casino. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not a sex casino. Why not? You said other things. Why not? We're going to the nightclub later. <laughs> also, I'm not a teen. I'm at least four days old. <laughs> Worse. You can't take a baby to a casino. You can't take a baby to a casino. Yeah, four <laughs> days old. You are prime territory for a werewolf to develop a thing for you. Ew. <laughs> no, we can't take our baby to the casino. Jacob Black will appear an imprint on her. <laughs> oh, Twilight flashbacks. Okay. Horrifying. <laughs> this Just is the most horrifying absolute series. Disgusting choices. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Meyer, why did you do this to us? We can't stop thinking about it years later. That's what she uh. wanted. <laughs> okay, let's go ride some rides. Yeah. Okay. You head to Galactic Adventures, the foremost theme park in the galaxy. Um, it is a hollow projection theme park. Uh, so, and it exists on every level of the facility. So you saw some of it when you were down uh, at the gold experience tier, um, but it kind of like extends all. Uh, it extends over like every level uh, with you being able to have access to any of the rides uh, at any point. And in fact, your stellar platinum uh, cards does essentially give you a fast pass, which lets you go to the front of every ride. Um, <clears throat> which is part of the reason why it takes so fucking long for everyone else to actually get on a ride. Um, so you uh you can go on all sorts of things there's like you know like uh again it's all hollow projection experiences so it's like hard light like constructs and like hard, so it's incredibly realistic um instead of like animatronic kind of fakery um but you there are like whitewater rafting rides there's like uh with like huge drops there's uh uh you know uh traditional roller coasters uh, that are kind of like spun out of hard light, which you can see like are constantly in flux. Like what it's never the same ride twice. Uh, like uh, every time like a, a one of the carts moves through it, you can see it kind of like splits off and like will change like a corkscrew or like a dead drop. And like the, uh, the, the whole ride is like constantly shifting and moving. Um, 
There are also like other more like theatrical kind of like performative experiences where you can like uh, essentially be a part in your favorite movie uh, or uh, or other like property uh, kind of like like the Indiana Jones uh, thing at like a universal uh, except you get to be Indiana Jones uh, and the whole thing just kind of like happens around you. Um, there's also like full VR experiences too. Uh, you can, uh, like there are uh, big facilities with uh, state of the art uh, VR pods, which uh, allow you to play um, or like be a part of any sort of like simulated experience. Um, the, uh, from like high fantasy to like, uh, there's space and like sci-fi stuff too, but sci-fi gets a little bit old when you live in a sci-fi universe. Um, so, uh, in this universe, those are actually like the slice of life. <laughs> those are the slice of life stuff. Yeah, um, a lot of it's like uh, reliving like historical events and and things like that, or like trekking trekking through the jungles on like remote like planets and uh, and other things like that. So all sorts of kind of stuff you can do uh and unless there's anything specifically y'all want to like play out y'all can just do whatever you want is there anything like that you find your characters would probably like gravitate towards Niren wants to find the scariest ride and go on it yeah yes yeah yes but i, I mean there are everything but the rides are definitely the, the, so you have in. Yeah, so they're like, if you're talking about like scary, like the most intense roller coasters, uh, uh, <laughs> there is uh, uh, the, uh, I'm trying to, uh, did I have a name for one? Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, there's the NDE uh 3000 uh which stands for near death experience uh guaranteed to shave at least 2 years off your life um just by going on it uh you can we'll see uh, about that yeah uh the you see people going on it and coming like coming off it like looking excited but like sunken eyes and like harrowed faces uh like uh like ex like changed by the event uh you uh you get on this you you get on the ride uh and it is like kind of mostly like external roller coaster but has like a tunnel section too uh and in that like again extreme g forces like twists and turns and corkscrews um and uh <laughs> there is a uh a section where it goes into a, like a tunnel and you feel this like acceleration around you light begins to bend you're pretty sure you're going through some sort of like uh a, like ftl jump light begins to bend and extend around you you see the infinite cosmos unwind and unravel in every direction you see both the beginning and the end of time uh extending out in front of you every potential reality you watch yourself split off into a quintillion segments and then slam together in one and then whoosh, the ride ends uh and uh yeah uh it was it you're not sure if you're still yourself anymore Honestly, we weren't that impressed with that one. <laughs> it's just I need like, a drink. What's going on up here all the time, anyway? That you sounds terrifying. Jones? Let's try that one. Okay. Got it. Now, uh, is there an experience where I can be one of those old horror movie killers? Ooh, see, now that's something. Oh yeah, that's Michael's wow. big day. Uh, that's actually, Michael's big oh, day. <laughs> I can be Michael Myers. Oh. Do you get to like pick? Like, do you get to like pick? Like, cycle through like which killer you want to be? Sure. Yeah. So, this is just Dead by Daylight. It's just Dead, by, it's daylight. dead by Daylight. Okay, they turned which, it into an experience. Which Dead by Daylight killer do we want? Do you want? <laughs> you know who I'm gonna choose. I know. I'm gonna be the plague. I know. I'm gonna be Vami Mommy. <laughs> I don't, I don't think this is a deadlight by daylight option, but I want to be the, um, um, uh, yeah, that's cool. That word was just in my brain until I started talking. The aliens from aliens. Uh, they, are they are a dead by daylight. Nice. There. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh Shira wants to be. Xenomorph. Yeah. I mean, it's gotta yeah, be pyramid head, right? 
It's got to yeah, be I mean, Pyramid Head. Pyramid Daddy. You can essentially go into like the like I said, the VR experiences will let you just fully. I mean, again, the the limits of those experiences are are infinite. It's it's really whatever you want to do. We uh, spend hours being. <laughs> killers just and murdering and like, people to and let final stress. girls we'll just right after that ride final too girls, we do all of them we do both yeah both we do both. <laughs> you have a little murder therapy after the uh nde uh you uh yeah you have a great time doing some some uh <laughs> socially Indiana allowed Jones. murders <laughs> uh yeah and you do uh uh some the the some of the hollow experiences too uh doing some adventures and playing out indiana jones but what i think shira would actually want to do is tomb raider no yeah. <sighs> way so sexier so you uh you spend hours around the park yeah, it's actually hard to even keep track of time actually uh all of you make uh wisdom saving throws that seems like a mistake we can't possibly be good at that right i can't i guess i can pull it. I need to... a six <laughs> I have to be dragged out. <laughs> Do you? So we got a six and a ten. A ten. Four. Four. All right. You ride rides. You go to the clubs. You eat food. Everything's free. You spend so much time uh, going through all of the various experiences. This is why uh, we couldn't go to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> we could see it up for Percy Jackson if we weren't careful. Uh, before, it, it, by the time you get to the end, you're starting to like, okay, I'm starting to feel a little tired. Uh, and you uh, finally like kind of come out of it, look at your uh, your data pads, uh, and about 28 hours have passed. Uh, it's it's about like a day, like a little over a day until the uh, until the auction. I think Splat's face is starting to get a little. Melty, saggy, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're getting a little, they're getting a little bit goopy. You okay there, bud? Uh, yeah. I think, I think maybe we should call it. But we haven't been on the dragon corkscrew. No, we definitely did like seventeen or so hours ago. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe it's nap time. I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, I think Our you start to- ship's been back for hours. You start to realize that you're spending more time here, like that good smell like that's pumping in through the place. You're also realizing it's probably, you're starting to, to realize there's probably other things laced into that like mm. good smell aroma. Uh, and they inject some like uh, aerosolized stimulants into the air to like keep people going as well. It can't uh, be legal. Red and methamphetamines. <laughs> yeah, essentially, it's aerosolized meth that keeps people going on the rides. That that uh, cannot be legal. Who There's decides no the way. law? I guess not me. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you're finally coming down from that crash uh, after your uh, after your marathon. Uh, you're. Uh, you're walking back to your ship, uh, which is returned from your uh, uh, mile high uh, experience. Uh, you do pass uh, by and you see the massive, uh, the massive, like, uh, uh, kind of amethyst domed building uh, with this, like, cascading golden fountains coming off the end. It actually looks like molten gold that's like pouring off the edge of it and kind of like swirling around uh, forming these like fractals and almost like starlight uh, and a mat and a huge like hollow projected sign, the nebula uh, out front. You walk past the casino. Um, you can see a, a, like a, some like big projected advertisements, uh, one of which uh, is the uh, new life jackpot uh, uh, is like the biggest event or the biggest uh, attraction at the casino uh, sort of like broadcast to you very aggressively as you go past uh, and uh, but you're still recovering and you head back to your ship to rest I think when we get inside um, um, Splat's like containment orb is just like in the main uh, cargo space so I think uh um, Spotlight comes in and just starts falling apart and just 
and like has to gloop out of the clothes which just stay on the ground like their clothes and shoes are just on the ground and they like slurp up into the into the pod and screw shut is that normal i've never seen them do that before <laughs> well i beat yeah you yeah. feel yourselves beginning to crash hard now that you are no longer in the uh in the station and having that constant stimulation yeah, note to self so be aware <laughs> be aware of that in the future maybe one day we'll actually be able to afford to come here well i mean technically we didn't need to afford it yeah just have to find the right person to manipulate I guess. Uh, you hear a whisper in your minds that just says, worth it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Turn in for the night. <laughs> Y'all rest Swan up. Swan dive into the beds. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Y'all rest up for the evening. Uh, I don't know if anybody was down anything, but you can get the benefits of a long rest. Uh, you all did technically get a level of exhaustion, but that goes away when you rest, so you're you're good. Uh, but yeah, uh, after resting for the evening, you wake up uh, on the day of the auction. Do we have invitations? Yes, there is a like boop boop on your data pads, and you get an email from uh, uh, from Zephyr saying. Uh, Invitations should be in your, uh, uh, on your data pads now. Cool. So you are all set up for that. Um, anything anybody wants to do, prep or otherwise, for before the uh, the auction? Any planning? No, I just forgot to put on my sheet the name of one of these force powers, and I don't remember what it was. So. I'll be doing that. <laughs> Is there a form that you think we could take that might be more helpful to the situation? We could do something like this and gets taller and more buxom and like like blonde does another shifts again and becomes like a uh what were the um what were the pig guys call oh, it the swinin like swinin turns into like a swinin shifts to like a few forms there's many angles we could take that's true we're gonna need a cover story i don't know what do you guys think we don't know what you want to do there but we could at least be a distraction of some kind or a lookout, we can talk to you with our mind. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Well, I guess the real question is how are we going to play this? We need to steal a little keychain and we won't know anything about the security or anything around it um, until we're there. And then we also need to either convince or pickpocket our the prince so i don't know if seduction is the root or i don't know if manipulation is the root blackmail i'm not really sure what the we could knock out a guard is. perhaps and then we could replace that guard we could reach into their mind get any relevant information about their job and imitate it for a day it's also not a bad idea. We need to get some more intel on the prince. Is there much like on the space internet <laughs> about this guy? Uh, you we did do a quick research. Space Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there wouldn't be a hard, uh, it wouldn't be a hard DC. This is a pretty famous person uh, to at least get like surface level information, uh, stuff that'd be publicly available uh, to get any like deep 
personal information to hack any accounts and get you know his uh his details uh that would be a bit more difficult but yeah if somebody wants to make a uh uh, da, 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 I remember what the skills are in this game. Uh, like a lore or a technology check. Uh, I'm, not um, I'm garbage at both of those, but I'll do it. What, what, what about uh, giving me a hand on it then? Because I'm pretty good. Okay. Okay. You want to give the help action to... Yes. Uh, Sweet. To Splat. Uh, Splat, what are you rolling? Uh, uh, tech. Tech. Perfect. I got a ooh, net 20. Oh, for total shit. 26. 26. Damn. Okay. Can't argue with that. Uh, well, I guess I'm just going to tell you everything about this guy. Uh, so, uh, Prince Justinian Quantus Branriel Avsolisk. Uh, he is the, uh, like, Somewhere around the like 15th or 16th in line for the Absolisk, uh, essentially empire, um, is the uh, son, like the third son of the uh, brother of the current uh, Lord Absolisk. Uh, so as not, not like very well and you know not not like you know next in line or inheritor of the throne or anything like that um typical to uh house absolus and, and many of like the noble houses uh that run the galaxy uh is uh very well uh educated very famous very influential in his own right um uh has very you know looks like he's uh attended the best universities and gone and uh had nothing but you know every silver spoon handed to him over the course of his life nepo um, baby got it yeah definitely uh the uh as i said before is you know the things you know he's the uh cfo chief financial officer for uh idis um his uh uh cousin uh is the uh who would be like the she is the um uh like second or third in line uh is the ceo of the company runs the company um it seems like most of the f-souls family has like it sits on like the executive board uh for the uh for idis and, and some of the other uh f-souls holdings uh he is a um a uh, human uh, man about in his uh, early 30s. Um, he is very kind of, I would say, handsome, generic looking. Uh, basically a, a human Ken doll. Uh, uh, he is uh, very kind of like angular, very serious looking features, uh, short kind of crew cut auburn hair, um uh, uh light blue eyes uh he is depicted in a lot of his uh uh photos that you see online wearing um very uh fashionable like suits and um uh very kind of formal uh uptire there's not a lot of like personal stuff about him uh that you initially find kind of like in like public profiles and like public facing it seems like he, they run a pretty like clean ship for like out like facing pr uh but you start to kind of poke around and get idea and to look for like private life and things that might have uh that that the absolutes like uh pr people might not have uh swept under the rug too well and through a a series of like uh searches and hacking into like social media accounts uh catching some like metadata on uh various uh websites kind of leads you like one you know, following breadcrumbs one way or another you find uh some posts on 
uh, or some like formerly like deleted like posts and pictures from uh, some events uh, around uh, from like very pros from like various profiles or like news outlets that were when like struck down uh, before they actually hit like the circuit. Uh, and you get the idea. He's kind of a thrill seeker. Uh, you see lots of uh, pictures of him in like uh like uh racing like skiffs out on like desert planets he is like uh running uh you can see he's uh running with like essentially like equivalent like running with the bulls like on uh a, in a tradition of like some like far like remote planet in the in the galaxy with these like massive like centaur looking uh creatures with like bone bladed arms and stuff like running down city streets like someone's being like decapitated behind him as he's like posing for a picture and running ahead of them um like looks fair like again like actually engaging in a lot of like very like risky behaviors and stuff and you can see like is uh like he's uh uh doing like um there's there's one where he's like doing like helo dropping from from like orbit uh in a uh uh on a volcano planet uh out in one of the uh uh <clears throat> uh out in like the uh uh Caribus system um lots of things like that uh so you kind of get a better idea for like his personality from in that regard um again most of the stuff seems to be like taken off the internet uh didn't exactly make it to uh front page news but gives you a bit we of see him any pictures of him like uh with somebody in a flirtatious or romantic kind of way like i'd like to get a vibe for what this guy's type is yeah uh you um uh you find some pictures like that uh there are uh uh, a few that you see of like him at like nightclubs or um like obviously in like vip rooms and stuff like not like out in like the main dance floor uh with a lot of different people um and uh and and not just like a lot of different people over different photos but like a lot of different people at the same time uh uh like not really anyone like specific they're all like very like attractive uh but different like species uh, uh men women otherwise like uh it doesn't seem like he really has a type seems like he's a bit of a playboy uh i'm starting to think that the two of us should see him from across the bar and like his vibe yeah yeah he looks like again, things thrilled. are always so boring aren't they very very professional corporate appearance uh public facing Fuck boy, party boy, thrill seeker, private life. So we suspect that you two probably don't want us to be involved in that aspect. No. It's a little demeaning, but whatever. <laughs> no. It's, I'm it's... five days old today. I should be allowed to flirt with the space prince. Fine. It's I, I don't mean it to be an insult. It's not an insult. It's a safety thing. Well, I mean to be an insult. It's fine. It's fine. Look, you do your guys' thing. We'll do the guard thing, and we'll keep an eye on you. Does that sound good? I think that's a good play. I think so. I think we've got an angle for him. We'll still have to kind of fly by the seat of our pants on the keychain, I think. Or... We dare him to steal it. You read my mind. I think we got to get this no, guy to party with us. No, she didn't. I would have been aware of any sort of psychic residue in here. It's a, just a turn of phrase. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think it's a pretty have good an idea. Angle. I, yeah, I think we have an angle. Okay. Neat. So we just need to kidnap a guard? Oh, we can do that. Easy. Or, oh, do we even need to do that? Yeah. Can do we just, we just act we like a really rowdy like to be group able to of get in... three friends that want that are bored with the you know these stuffy events and as security we could get into more 
sensitive areas. Well, do we even need to kidnap a guard necessarily, or can we kind of... Can you just pick one and become them? Yeah, or can we recreate one of the outfits at the fashion store and then just sort of get you on the payroll? We can certainly do that. Uh, However, being able to know what the role is ahead of time would be useful to us, we think. Oh, I see. Yeah, we could do a kidnapping. I don't know where these guys hang out, though. Are you talking about, uh, like, just so I'm understanding, you're talking about security for the yeah, event? For the or for yeah. the event. Okay. Um, or would they just be, like, droids? Hmm. Make, uh, hmm. I would say, uh, you could do a lore or an insight check, one of you. Hmm. You can do insight. Here did my... I believe in one of you. I mean, like, you, or sorry, you can more of you, more than one of you can do yeah. it uh, if you want to. I believe in both of you. I'll I'm not insight. touching either of those. <laughs> but I'm here for sleight of hand. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, 24 lore. I also Dang. got a 24. Rolling hot today. High five. Holy crap, y'all. <laughs> um, Based on what you were seeing from a distance with this like facility and stuff, and based on what you've seen around Joy Station, you can almost guarantee that it is going to be some sort of android or like autonomous like security system well, at this event. Shit, we can't turn into a robot. Can you fake it? Not to any degree of electronic scrutiny. Okay, so Plan B. Were three bored aristocrats who hate coming to these things, but do because that's where everyone is. And if we have to wing a portion of it, we have to wing a portion of it. I'm alright with that. That's kind of our, you know, that's our thing. Loose plans and hope for the best. Splat, it means you get to wear the coat. We do look forward to that. It's a good coat. It's a good coat. That was a good one. Okay. Well, I guess how many hours until the event now? Uh, I said the, it would start around six. Uh, so y'all probably slept in a little bit. So you probably have around like six or seven hours. So I have to start getting ready right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so y'all want to start getting ready? So any other? Let's any other eat. Preps? Let's get right. Let's get ready. Open a bottle of champagne. Yeah. <laughs> so I could slap I let Splat have a, a one glass of champagne. <laughs> All right. Not because they're young, because we shouldn't get drunk before we go to work. Right. But just a little. That's fair. But afterwards? Absolutely. Oh, afterwards, afterwards you can do whatever you want. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know how goo creatures process alcohol, but I mean, you you gotta find your limits, you know. Speaking of, I'm gonna make another drink really fast, but I'm listening. All right. So, okay. uh, y'all prep for the event. Uh, get some, uh, getting some rest, preparing gear. Uh, Remind me one more time what the prince's first name is. Uh, Justinian. Thank you. I keep wanting to call him Julian in my head, and I know that's not yeah, do right. I need, do you want me to post the name? I don't know if I gave you all the full name. If you don't mind. No, I can definitely do that. It's a long one, so. Yeah. Justinian. Qantas is the part that gets me. Qantas? <laughs> yeah, it's it's very sci-fi, and I like it. Yeah, uh, it's I, I combined a lot of stuff. I went real Dune uh with that one in my head uh, he looks like quintilius from strixhaven he, honestly i have a token for him you're not far off really <laughs> yeah, i thought auburn looks... hair blue eyes sort of haughty 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know what? I hadn't really thought about it, but he looks uh, a, a lot like Quintilius. That was what he was in my head, too. I'm so glad we Hold are on. all on the same page I'll, with I'll him being Quintilius. If I'll, y'all vamp- I'll, post, I'll post Quintilius. <laughs> yeah. I have him. You know I have uh, him ready to go at any point. <laughs> any oh, point. As you should. Uh, hold on, I can find the art for this dude. Uh, this is not what we need to be doing right now, but it's what uh, I want to be doing right now. If you put it I in the roll twenty, Solix I can so show. Di- wrong, so wrong. I can I show the so chat. Wrong. If you put him in the roll twenty, I can also show okay. the chat so they're not left out. Where was he? You know, I've always got Quintilius ready to go. Sita, that's the that's the man. That's the Strixhaven man. Ooh, look at that man! Is he cute? But he does. Oh, uh, but he's kind of—he's got a little realize. bit of that self-assured "I'm cute and I know it" look. Yeah, he's an actor. Mm. We love, we love Q. Uh, uh, this guy looks. Oh, now I'm really looking. This guy just looks like older Quintilius. Uh, Yay! We found uh, him. We found him in another universe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop him on the map here so y'all can. It won't let me put Quintilius on the map. Holy shit, it does. It's older Quintilius! Put Quintilius in there for me so the chat can see them. Because this is fascinating. He kind of also has like a Michael Fassbender kind of... Mm-hmm. Put Quintilius mm. in Rule 20. Okay, don't let him touch anything. Oh, put Quin... Oh, you want to be... Oh, sorry. I, I want to... Sh- no, I want to show the chat. Okay, hold on. I don't want them to be left out. Chat, you're going to love these guys. I know you all know what Quintilius looks like. Hold on, I need to get him. Come on, there we go. All right. So there's, that's Quintilius from Strixhaven, right? Mm-hmm. Chat, you're not gonna believe this. You're gonna freak out. Everybody come yeah. back to this tab. Stop what you're doing. <laughs> Reopen the Twitch chat. Reopen the Twitch chat. So, pull you the need car to over. This. Look at them. You need to see this. <laughs> Look at them. They got yeah. the same look in their eyes. They're up to some shit. They got this the is the same, same dude. Same, they have the same. It's the, it's same, the same dude. dude. This is the same guy. Yeah. Yep. yep. Damn. What have I done? Found him. We'll be Damn, around. you gotta change that name. <laughs> He's just in no, mean... Quintilius now. <laughs> oh boy. Excellent right, work. Right. Let me get rid of these. Okay. okay, back to the game. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy we found him. He's fucking hot. He is hot. I can't wait to flirt with this dude. <laughs> I'm gonna make him all just of us to flirt with this guy. Sufferable uh, asshole that you've ever talked with. Uh, okay. I bet I can so, work anything? Uh, I think we're all good. Y'all are all ready for getting ready for the event. Um, I think Splat. Um, uh, makes themselves look uh, like a much taller kind of reptilian um, version of Helena Bonham Carter, with like, like prismatic, scintillating, not hair but like cilia, uh, okay. and uh, uh, and like lacquered, bawd fingers fill out that Cruella de Vil outfit too, like a kind of a nice. slinky dress. Nice, nice, nice. Uh. What are uh, Niren and Shiro wearing again? Uh, Niren has on um, Kira Knightley's dress from Atonement. It's like that 1940s <laughs> style, but it's in red instead of green to complement her pink skin. And her hair is down in like loose curls. It's very like understated, but like, you know, not like a lot of jewelry or anything. It's just like, just going to go and look. Like classic Hollywood beautiful instead of like over the top, like tits out there. <laughs> like she normally would be. No, that's Shiro's job. It's my that's turn Shiro. to go tits that's... out. Yeah, it's your turn to go tits out. I, I went leg- to that last time. It's your turn. I legitimately do not remember what I said I was wearing. Um, so I'm going to say something now. I thought you were dressing like uh, uh, Sandy from Greece. That's right. You're correct. I, yeah, Shiro's like in a, deep V. Shiro's in a jumpsuit phase. That's what it is. Yeah, leather jumpsuit, tall heel boots. Make the tentacles into a pompadour in the front, and then yes. like a long ponytail in the back. 
Yeah, I think they gave you a pompadour to wear, but if you want to just do no, I want to do the I want to do the tentacles. Okay, okay. Uh, Maybe some eyeliner put... for fun. All right, all of you looking hot. Uh, you, I probably need some different music. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the V, the the like V neck though is like like bit there's almost <laughs> like almost button. to the belly button yeah it's the tits are out yeah your tits the, are out my entire back is out to like yeah. <laughs> i forgot together, about, i forgot about may... the back the back of that dress just together yeah, you're either shirtless or you have crack. a full shirt yeah <laughs> yeah together we make one whore <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you arrive ascending the lift back into the stellar platinum uh, luxury uh, district. And as soon as you arrive uh, up top, you can see like there's some com uh, commotion like throughout the station. A lot of like paparazzi and uh, like uh, like news crews uh, around as well. As you arrive, uh, send up the lift, the doors open uh, and you can see like it's still the same district, uh, but the lights have been like dimmed up here. Uh, the giving it kind of more of a nightlife feel. You see big like like uh, uh, spotlights like crisscrossing in the distance where the uh, the cosmic infinity auction house has descended down uh in the center of this district uh there's flashing lights of cameras a big red carpet leading up to the event um you can see uh dozens of like uh station like security and like personnel like helping uh like kind of moving traffic around there are some like again like news crews and stuff up here as well like there's like press a whole like press section that's been cordoned off um the uh there are uh those like the the uh stellar platinum like pass holders are here kind of like watching in like a crowd around not all of them having like uh invitations to the event uh but you can see like it, uh, even at uh this early hour some like big like important people kind of like mingling outside as they're slowly uh walking down this uh this uh I said red, I meant uh, it's more of like a golden uh, colored carpet that goes to stairs that ascend up to the like platform base of the, the this like um, pergola uh, or like um, uh, balcony area of the auction house. Uh, you see more people kind of mingling and music playing back there. I have a question. Yes. Are we using different aliases for this? You probably want to use the aliases that were on your passes because those would be yeah, the ones that would be tough. This. Yeah. <laughs> Does everyone so, remember what those are? Does everyone remember what they are? Yeah, I was Keith. Because I definitely remember and will hold you to that. Or do we want to come up with new ones and be like, oh, we're this rich. This rich these rich kids. <laughs> I think I went with L9, and I'm going to guess on that. I no, you he... went with, no, you went with Lilu Dallas, didn't you? Because I went with Ruby Rod. Fuck, did I do that? Oh, I think you did. I thought you, I all, you also said L9 at some point, I oh, think. okay. Yeah. Uh, but that might have been when you initially got, like, your initial passes going on to the station. And That's, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You lied about her name Lilu. several times. Yeah. I'm fine with going Lilu Dallas if you want to go cool. Lilu Dallas and Ruby Rod. <laughs> And yes. I'm going Keith, but just Keith, like a mononym. Just, just Keith. Yeah, yeah, like Madonna. Or and Cher, it's not. It's Keith spelled with no vowels. No, of course not. It's just K T H. K apostrophe T H. I'm just gonna uh, pretend like I'm a pop star from another planet. You. Uh, uh, you oh, you haven't heard of me. Uh, you will. Speaking of pop stars from another planet, uh, as you arrive, there is a, a massive like swell of like cheering and fanfare and flashes going off from why cameras. I don't to say Toby Keith is here. <laughs> we got to stop talking. Keith. We got to stop talking about Toby Keith. Yeah, we do. Um, and uh, you see walking along the golden carpet uh, and stopping as well. She's a couple of like a tent, like little droids, like uh, like hovering around her that also seem to be like rolling footage or like recording her. And she's like pausing and like taking uh, 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 doing like poses for them. You see uh, a, a face that some of you might recognize um, the uh, uh, she is a 
<sighs> young, uh, probably early 20s, though it's hard to tell with like alien uh, physiology and biology, uh, as she is uh, uh, has this bright, uh, like blue, kind of like almost like turquoise skin. Um, this uh, wild kind of like waving like frills kind of coming off the uh, the top of her head. Uh, they're like pierced uh, and have lots of like embroidery through them. Uh, she's dressed kind of like a like a K-pop idol. Um, and uh, you're not sure if that's her normal fashion or if that's her vintage earth fashion. She's dressed like basically is like cosplaying like Hatsune Miku. Uh, uh, it's Hatsune Miku. I was uh, like, I before you even started talking about this like celebrity, I was like, it's going to be Hatsune Miku. No, this <laughs> just... is actually, uh, this is Vega X. Uh, she is a pop star. Uh, a very popular uh, 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 performer. Uh, in... She's on. Uh, listen, Piper did it first. <laughs> uh, and uh, she Do you is. Remember Piper's, Piper's uh, anime being named Vega? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm pretending she... this is her now. <laughs> uh, she's stopping and like posing for photos and stuff, and everybody's cheering her name. She stops and gives off a does a couple of autographs, uh, and before ascending the uh, the steps to the uh, balcony area, um, there's some other people that are, like me wear their carpet or down the carpet too as well that aren't getting like the uproar. So like not everyone here is like who is invited is like famous famous uh and you can see just like some like photographs of like i don't know who this person is but i'm gonna take pictures just in case this might be worth something um you uh the three of you head up to where uh the kind of like security detail here is and you see four um identical uh androids these are not like they're more like robots than androids they are they're not meant to look human at all um they have a uh kind of a greenish uh tint to their metal plating um big kind of like glowing like uh optic uh uh sensors uh like eyes um more of that like kind of like android almost like c-3po kind of like uh mouth with like the grill kind of across it um and uh like it's a like gold gold and green plated uh armor and as you uh or not armor plating uh as you approach uh one of them kind of registers you uh, and says greetings and welcome to the cosmic affinity uh, cosmic infinity auction may i see your invitation uh Scan there's like a brrr, scanning and then uh ding welcome we're excited to have newcomers here at the auction today. I will be your attendee and master of ceremonies for the evening, Orion. Pleasure. Please, if you make your way down the carpet and to the balcony area, refreshments will be provided before the auction begins. Thank you kindly. Uh you are allowed to pass uh and you can see standing at like intervals are like two four six eight you see like dozens of these uh robots uh these these androids uh that are uh maintaining kind of the perimeter and like attending to people uh as you ascend the uh the steps to the uh to the balcony there's a small crowd of people here maybe like 30 or 40 uh music is playing uh the uh, kind of rim roll and the the all the the noise from below seems to be kind of muted from uh, uh through the like glass partitions that uh surround this balcony um uh, giving it a much more quiet uh, and and uh, and gentle kind of feel. Uh, everyone is dressed uh, elegantly in their finest vintage Earth fashion. Uh, you see many of the people just wearing simple uh, like uh suits or like uh kind of like i can't like suits and dresses of various like time periods dating back to like renaissance to uh 
kind of what we would see as like modern uh, uh, society. Um, you can see like uh, there's probably a few in there that are wearing like Met Gala uh, remakes uh, from like the most famous Met Gala attire. Uh, I mean, there's like one guy that's wearing like sweatpants and uh, Crocs and a female body inspector t-shirt. <laughs> you mean like the way some people dress for the fucking Met Gala? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't know how much I want to make that how Prince uh, Absolius is dressed. <laughs> uh, Please don't. I won't ever be able to take this whole thing <laughs> at all seriously. No. Uh, <laughs> Please uh, don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> he is not. Uh, it seems like everyone here is is taking the vintage Earth fashion to like the like more formal uh kind of end of it much like how the the three of you uh are some like casual formal but also some formal um you can see uh there is uh some of the people are wearing like uh, like greasers that are you know like jeans and you know uh, jackets and things like that uh some people well. look like they're going to like a college party that's like theme is college hoes and CEOs or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and you see some uh, familiar, uh, some some faces you might recognize too. Um, I actually, as you're kind of like mingling, your handed refreshments, like one of the Orion bots comes up and uh, offers you drinks, uh, uh, gravity uh, suspended champagne flutes um, that you can uh, uh, take and begin to sip on. You're also asked for like, if you want any cocktails or anything, uh, you're asked for that as well. Um, so uh, the, also providing food and everything. It's, it's very kind of, uh, again, elegant. Uh, uh, elegance uh, is kind of the name of the game up here. Um, I'd like you all to make, uh, well, assume you'd want to kind of clock any people around, you can make uh, lore checks. I'm so do, proud of myself. I can't do insight. With a plus um, one to my lore, I got a 19. If you want to do insight, we might give you like who knows who and kind of like get a feel for like who's important in the room, but it wouldn't give you names for those people. It I'm putting girl them. follows just gonna pop rely culture, on apparently. the other two for names. <laughs> okay. Here, we'll, we'll tag team good. it. Because I have insight. Oh, hey, you clock body language and who knows who. And I'll tell you exactly who is who. <laughs> 23. Based on watching apparently the 23. Space Bravo Network. Yeah. Um, so I'll give you one thing. The insight, uh, one piece of the insight first of the 23. Uh, nobody seems to really be like clocking the three of you as you come in. Uh, uh, you're very much not on anyone's radar uh, at this moment. Um, we like to. So you're able to go to one of the uh, max suspended like tables and uh, and kind of converse as you're uh, scanning the rooms yourself. Um, the uh, <clears throat> as you look around the room, uh, hmm. Yeah. Uh, as you look around the room, you catch there are a lot of people here, a lot of which you wouldn't recognize, like it's just probably some rich assholes. Uh, there are a couple that seem that are familiar. And with your 19 year in, you can name a few of them. Um, clearly, you know, uh, Vega X, you, you just saw her. That's easy. Uh, she's currently like being swarmed by a bunch of people that are talking and about her music. And uh, she's uh, like smiling and laughing and uh, putting on a show. Um, you also, uh, towards the edge of the balcony uh, with a couple of security officers um, that are all wearing the House F. Solius sigil on their uh, like combat armor. Um, you see kind of uh, standing between them, having a conversation with two others uh, is Prince of Solius. Um, uh, very, uh, very obviously you did your research on him. He is currently wearing uh, what I will just describe as, uh, he's dressed like Maverick from Top Gun. Um, the uh, uh, shades uh, currently kind of like hanging around his neck. Um, as he is in mid conversation with uh, two others that uh, are uh, have a few attendants with them as well, all their attendants are dressed in the uh, vestments of the Magnetera. Um, 
and you see these two as well though dressed nicer are not in any costume they are very clearly just dressed in their more kind of formal like official garb uh there's a tall very stern looking gentleman uh, as a black man with um gray hair kind of receding hairline uh with a goatee uh, all of it's kind of like graying to white um very kind of like like age marks he's probably like in his er like late 50s early 60s uh but is not built like it is like very like very rigid kind of soldier's posture um he's he, just elbow in my head kind of yeah yeah that's that's i was gonna uh, say denzel but yeah or that, you know yeah. what kind of kind of striding those lines yeah um he is uh wearing a very plain uh black uh uh like suit almost like if you're thinking of like a uh like a priest's like um what's the word i'm looking like priest vestments uh with like a solid black uh which is this like golden um band uh, around the collar uh and uh, around his wrists as well uh his hand is currently uh resting on the hilt of what looks like a uh very ornate uh light blade uh at his uh at his hip um he is not really engaging most of the conversation more like nodding and uh acknowledging uh his companion uh who's standing next to him uh is a a woman that is dressed as like a very high uh like skin tight kind of gray like collar that flows down into uh white and gold uh vestments like very long sleeves that like cover her hands as they are kind of folded in front of her uh the the gown that she was wearing again that tapering gold to white uh all uh, like down to her feet which kind of like flares outwards uh she's wearing some uh uh like gray uh uh like pants underneath uh and she has uh blue skin very clear uh like more alien uh kind of uh very like uh defined cheekbones almost like hollow cheeks uh design like uh some uh like spikes or uh horns that come off like four horns coming around the edges of her uh, edges of her head uh and some either like tattoos or like natural markings that run along her head as well uh and she the two of them are currently speaking with uh with prince uh justinian um i don't think you would know i don't think you would know her name but you would definitely know her position based on what she is wearing uh because uh and basically who she is attended by uh, because you definitely know the name of the man that she is attended by. Uh, he is uh, Sirius Frostbane, uh, the a philosopher of the Magna Terra. Uh, essentially, he's like a warrior priest, uh, but is also the veteran of many battles, many war, uh, many of the like conflicts that have taken place between uh, the great houses, uh, and uh, he has. Uh, been very heavily decorated and is very well known uh for his uh prowess uh is and this was a, like huh is he like a psychic warrior is he yes yeah he's a for uh for us or would be like a, a he, he would be akin to like a jedi uh mm -hmm. for talking those in like star wars terms um he is uh, uh, very, uh, most of his like accolades were like decades ago, but he is, you know, still pretty well known. You even know his face. Uh, who he is attended by, you're not quite sure what her name is because there are several of them, uh, but she would be an oracle of the Magna Terra, uh, which is one of their highest uh, religious positions. Um, kind of akin to, uh, I would say, somewhere between a, uh, if we're talking about like modern religion and like you know like if my my point of reference is always like catholic hierarchy is like like a like a grand cardinal um uh in like star wars would be somewhere like between like a senator and a master jedi um so uh very important people uh currently talking with uh uh with the prince 
Um, those are the ones that you mostly recognize. However, I'm going to give one to uh, to Sita as well. You see a man near the edge of the crowd, not currently engaging with anyone that you recognize, but or that, I mean, as much as Splat would probably recognize someone. Uh, there is a very stern looking uh, gentleman, um, also doesn't appear to be like in any sort of like costume, is wearing like a, uh, wearing a, a suit, um, but uh, he looks familiar to you. Like there's, there's something about him that you can't quite place uh very like square jaw um uh kind of like thicker build um he has a set of uh very small glasses if you think like like dave batista wearing glasses uh uh in the was it the zombie movie i was thinking of with him uh where he was wearing those um uh, no, it's money. the M. Night Shyamalan movie, I think. Was the M. Night Shyamalan movie, yeah. yeah. I was thinking that recently. But, like, very built, very, like, built uh, physique, but uh, wearing just, like, teeny tiny little glasses. Uh, and uh, he is, uh, you can't place a name, but his suit, there is a logo on it. Uh, and it is the Gentech, Gentech uh, logo. Hmm. Uh, uh, Splat's going to keep that to themselves. Okay. Those are kind of the people of note that you uh, that you gauge. Uh, with your insight check, though, you got 23, Shiro? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. So you're kind of reading the room. Uh, a lot of people around, you can, you're getting a lot of like, yeah, these are people that tolerate each other in social situations, but actually hate each other behind the scenes. Or, so genuine people that seem to be friends. Um, you clock, I assume, you know, near and probably nudges you and points you, points you in the direction of uh, Prince Justinian, um, who's currently engaged in this conversation. And, and outwardly, like, it appears to having a very, like, kind of social, pleasant uh, conversation. But you just, there is a tension uh, between the uh, Magna Terra uh between uh this oracle and uh serious frostbane uh and the uh and the prince as they're engaging in some uh some conversation uh you're kind of catching that that vibe without being able to hear what they're saying you're catching that vibe of people that are like having a very serious discussion but trying to come off and trying to play it off like they are being polite here's a couple fighting at a party I, yeah, essentially. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe you get. Those three are not having a good time. Mm -hmm. We could attempt to sense their surface thoughts. There's no initial danger of them discovering that we don't think. We haven't encountered another psychic before. Why don't we see if we can do it the old-fashioned way first? And just to be safe, I don't know much about the Oracle, um, but I would not attempt that with, uh, with the man attending her. No, we were thinking. If you're gonna more aim a. If you're gonna but... aim a, a psychic. Uh, I think our best bet, if you're going to do that, if our initial, you know, approach fails, um, I would tap into the prince and not someone else. Agreed. Remind me, mother. Do you have the psychic whisper as well? I do. We will hang back. Um mingle uh enjoy some of these uh hors d'oeuvres we will keep a light uh mental sense on just but we will be out of earshot so please keep us abreast of what is going on and we will communicate back 
Be careful. We will be. Don't worry. Don't get out of eyesight. We'll stay close by. We should have a, uh, what did you call it before? An oh shit plan? Uh, if things start to go horribly wrong, I'll pick a fight with Shiro and we'll cause a scene and storm out. Hopefully that covers it. It usually does. Okay. Let's get All to work. Right. Quarry in sight. You prepare to uh, begin your uh, your operation. Operation. Operation flirtation. I was going to say <laughs> <Yeah>. operation flirtation. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and take our break here. Uh, hmm. And we'll come back in a minute and uh, see where this all goes and how quickly it goes bad. Uh, thanks everyone out there for... <laughs> Have you seen how good some of my charisma stats are? Yeah, no, this this could actually go really well. Uh, um, we'll just also, have to see. you have the two species that are naturally Horny. enthralling. Okay, that is true. That is true. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm excited to see how this all goes. But uh, we are going to take a break first. So thank you, everyone out there, for watching. We'll be back in a few minutes to continue our session. So. Uh, Take a break with us, go stretch, get some water, eat a snack, whatever you need to do, and we'll be back here uh, in a bit for the rest of our session. Uh, so we will see you then. Stay tuned. And welcome back, Internet. Thanks for hanging out this while we took our break. We're going to go ahead and jump back in. So the three heroes, scoundrels, adventurers, uh, crew of the Velvet Luster find themselves at a fancy soiree. I said that one. Soiree. soiree. I, like how, I like how you said it. A soiree. Soiree. Though, though <laughs> at a fancy soiree. Marriage. <laughs> Marriage is what brings us together. I will just pre-warn you. If this person ends up having your Italian accent, I will officially... <laughs> oh, do you mean oh Dracula? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I just letting wait. you, if you do that to me, I just need to warn you ahead of time. I will leave. I like the concept <laughs> that Rachel has put forward today of pre-warning someone. Can we, can you speak on that? <laughs> what? Now, if you're, just <laughs> war- if you're just warning somebody, that's one thing. Yeah. Oh, you're going to pre- no. pre-warn them. Yes. Like, I'm warning. that's like, I'm, I'm telling you ahead of time. I'm about I'll give you to warn one you. more chance. I'm about to if you warn do this, you. I'll, give okay. you, I'll give you five if more you... seconds and then I'm going to leave. That's the pre warning. I understand. Yeah. There's going to be one more warning and then I'm out. I like it. I like <laughs> it. It is me, this Italian, uh, your Italian friend. It's still a little that's Italian. two people leaving. It's <laughs> a little Italian. Good evening. <laughs> All right. Anyway. You guys can see me. Solid. There's there's no accent out there that would be offensive to to me and my people. <laughs> it just wrecks me every time. Uh, I, I don't two, know why. I said two hours for, outside earlier and I'm fucking summer. For those that don't know, my Italian accent. You look accent sun-kissed always, and adorable. Uh, my Italian accent always ends up drifting into like Transylvania. It just goes straight uh, to yeah. 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 And I had yeah. to spend three and a half hours romancing um Milo, right? That's yeah. it with Milo yeah. in in um was it the camp one, Monster Camp? Monster camp yeah. yeah. Listening to that voice. Yeah. I have been broken ever since. I like how she says ha- have to. Yeah, have I had to. to romance Milo. It's a Okay. Anyway. The, uh, what are we doing? We're party. romancing someone else now. This is why the we should party. do a podcast. <laughs> We should do a podcast. I'll edit it. Fuck it. Let's do this. Let's do a podcast. The reception, <laughs> the reception for the auction is in full swing. You've seen uh, Prince Avsolisk uh, speaking with the Oracle of the Magnetera, as well as uh, Sirius Frostbane, uh, one of the philosophers of the uh, of the Magnetera, um, and as well as another of other uh, interesting individuals around. Uh, so. Uh, what would you like to do? Is I'm going to put myself in a position first. Um, is the Gentech uh, dude by himself? Uh, I don't think he's like he's not with anyone like important right now. Uh, but he's like having some casual conversation with somebody at a bar. 
at the okay. park. Um, I'm going to uh, get like a, a dry martini and uh, sidle up uh, next to the bar, but um, look kind of distracted with myself, like pull my, you know, my, um, what do we call phones in this? Data pad. My tablet. I, I my call data them pad. data pads. Yeah. yeah, I'll pull my, get out like a little clutch, pull my data pad out, take some pictures of myself, I'll, like scroll through stuff. Uh, and that's where I'm going to be posted up at first. Okay. Okay. Are you like trying to get his attention or you're just, yet, like, you're just at the bar? But okay. I, I want to be close enough in case I decide to do that. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, Splat goes and posts up at the bar. And remember, you, you like, you're like aged up for this. Like, you're, you're like, yeah. You're, yeah. 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 Uh, okay. yeah. Uh, Helena Bottom Carter, but as a Solarian from Doctor Who. Okay. Gotcha. That's a very specific look. And I really yeah. am into it. Uh, so our two horny fellows, uh, Shiro and Niren. Sexy fellows. <laughs> we're sexy. I think we can be both. <laughs> yeah, we're both. Uh, we're both. <laughs> I think we're definitely both. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have one question though. First, uh, is this Orion, our our bot, gonna follow us everywhere? No, there are just a okay, number okay, of Orions. Okay. Like I just around. didn't know it because that one said okay. specifically, like, I'll be your attendant for the evening, and I was like. Do no, they're speaking like come generally. With us, or like, that, all like if, them we need, are, if we need if we need anything, we can go to Orion. Okay. Yeah, the the and bots Orion. are all like unified by a central AI. Perfect. Uh, as just far as you to, can tell, just wanted to make so, sure we we're going to be followed around by a robot. Yeah, <laughs> this whole facility seems like it's being like the the cosmic infinity auction house is like its own artificial intelligence, um, and uh, called Orion, uh, and it essentially is like the auction house will be attending to you this evening. Got it. Just wanted to make sure Creepy, that yeah. Orion like 832 wasn't just going to be like following us around all no. evening waiting for no. us to talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> there is never one that is more than like a polite like arms reach away, uh, but not one that will be specifically following you. Thank you. Okay. Couple of ideas. One. We spill drinks on the people he's with. <laughs> Let's put that at the bottom of the list. Easy. Easy, easy way to get somebody to leave a room. Uh, two. You stand here and look hot. And I walk up behind him and say something that makes him want to come hang out with us. Okay. Those were the two ideas. I have another idea. Okay, that's probably better than mine, but I wanted to get mine out. <laughs> I, yeah, I know that feeling. Sometimes you like itch in your brain, and you just like need yeah. to say them out loud. Um, my idea is we make our way by them and have a conversation about how boring these things are, and how, and then start brainstorming ideas to make it more fun, and see if that piques his interest. And if that doesn't work, then you can do your thing. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Not the, sp not the spill drinks thing. I just like to have that on the list, like just as an emergency plan, just in case. That's a good emergency plan. It's a quick way to get somebody to leave a room, but yeah, you know, don't want to piss them off. We don't have to. Yeah, they've got a lot of gods. Okay. All right. Um, so before we walk over there and start having a conversation with any shot, come up with a, fun, a couple, you know, silly ideas for making this thing more fun. You do it on the fly. It doesn't matter. I just, you know. No, it's it's nice to have. A get the more. wheels turning. Yeah, it's like the the suggestion at the beginning of the improv. Uh, I this place really is very boring, actually. I know. Yeah, it's going to be hard to figure out um, what would be more interesting. Fuck it, let's just go. Yeah, let's just go. Okay, the two of you go and you sidle up like at a table. And these near two do the better when they don't think about it. <laughs> yep. Uh, you go and you move to like a table like near or at edge of the balcony, mm -hmm. like near where they're having their conversation, uh, but not like right up against them. Uh, they they don't seem to move. Uh, what are your passive perceptions? Uh, Mine's like a ten, I think. Yeah, ten. We don't have a high wisdom group, do we? <laughs> do uh, no, my wisdom's okay. Does you it... got a 12, Shiro. 
Now listen, does this uh, involve smell? <laughs> no, this is this is purely sight. Okay. Unless you can smell where someone's looking. Uh, I don't know. Can <laughs> that would I? be an interesting trait. <laughs> I smell how their eyeballs move. <laughs> Just completely back turned to somebody. Sniff. My eyes are up here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that gave you the creep so much. It's because it's creepy. It's a creepy thing to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, um, yeah, the the two of you uh, uh, just just move up close. Um, Not too close, he, but within earshot. Okay. Uh, there's a lot, like a lot of music and conversation going on. So I'm going to say, unless you're actively trying to perceive, you're not like ambiently catching any conversation from mm -hmm. the from the group yet um but if you want to start your little short is here. okay i need to set this up in my brain so is there like there's like is there like a balcony or is this like all one floor we're like up on like a so you're there are the doors so you came up a set of steps um that that led to like the center of this balcony uh the balcony extends out in kind of a crescent shape uh, in front of the main sets of doors that lead into the auction house. So it's all exterior right now that you're standing on. Okay. Um, but there is a balcony to lean on. Yes, there is an actual like railing with this like is glass the partition. Prince here. facing towards the balcony or away from the balcony? He is facing away from the balcony. Damn. It. Uh, okay, he's never kind mind. of like leaning against the edge of it, uh, facing away. He has got a couple of like guards, uh, House of Solius, like security that are with him um kind of like posted around the edge of this conversation uh and the magnetera uh officials uh are uh, okay. facing towards the balcony so i want to uh, put us in like visual range of the prince yeah that's, that's easy enough because you said there are like tables right like i was imagining yeah there are these yeah. like standing mm, tables there are these like, like uh gravity yeah. suspended like tables throughout yeah. the i want to so, like plant us kind of like where he can see us as easy. he's going to be picking up this conversation it's much easier for him he has a much clearer line mm -hmm. of sight than the than the magnetera do at this moment you do see that uh sirius is uh kind of on more of like is paying attention to the conversation, kind of engaged in it, but you can see like him looking around and stuff every so often. Like he seems to be more on like kind of a security detail as as well. And I'll get us a couple of drinks, mostly for props, but we'll probably drink them. Um, champagne, please. And and grab a couple of yeah, grab uh, some champagne. And... Oh no, you know what? This will this will be good. This will give him a good. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab uh, two of them in each hand. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you just grab two, so you're you're quadruple fisting. Yeah. Oh, and Steve, that, these are, things are so boring. They I, look hot I, and bored. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how many more of these I can attend. No, it's it's already just. Like, is there anyone here that is ever going to do? I mean, I only go to these things hoping that something dramatic is going to happen. And it never does. I don't know why I come anymore. I don't know. And I mean, it's not as much fun if we're always the ones causing the drama. Cause then we don't I know. How many scenes can you cause? You know, I mean, just like once. I want someone else in one of these things to not be so tight laced and just like here to spend money. Like, I mean, I get it. We all get dressed up and we all come and we spend money and it's great. Thanks, mom and dad. But if one time someone would just like take one of those waiters, you know, trays and like slide down a railing or something like I would just explode in happiness. Like I'm just so fucking bored. Just like swinging from the chandelier. I, honestly, like just literally anything except for just stand around and drink and eat hors d'oeuvres and talk about how rich everyone is and spend money on these like priceless artifacts from Earth Prime. And I just, I'm so tired. <laughs> so and I don't tired. dress like this to be bored. I mean, I know. I mean, we go and we get all these fun outfits and, you know, like that ends up being the most fun part of the evening is just like seeing who's made, you know, terrible fashion mistakes. And I'm just honestly, I'm just tired of talking shit. I just want something fun to happen. And not to be the ones who cause it this time. Such a shame. I'm gonna go ahead and have y'all make uh, a performance check. Uh, I don't know. Uh, one of you can make it with advantage. I'm proficient. 
Okay, you do it. Okay. I'm helping. You are helping. <laughs> You're kind of carrying right now, but I love it. Oh, I'm playing dramatic rich girl. I've watched all of Gossip Girl. I'm here. Blair, Blair and Serena are here inside of me. Uh, Alex, what is 25? <laughs> Shit, 25 is excellent. Uh, 25... Excellent. 25, uh, you, the two of you are having this conversation. Uh, both of you make perception checks. Does this involve smell? Actually, <laughs> I'm 18. I'm so hey. proud of myself. That's a flat out roll, yeah. friends. I was going to say you could do an insight either, uh, uh, if you wanted to. Oh, I am provisioned an insight. Um, but if you rolled an 18, what's your insight modifier? If you wanted to do insight instead, uh, Niren? It's also a flat roll. Oh, it's also a flat roll? Okay, so 18 either way. That's not my thing. I don't know why I thought you had a higher insight. Uh, no. That's me. Mine Mine would be a 17, so. 17. Okay. Uh, so with a perception and an insight, uh, so two of you are engaged in this conversation very, like, dramatically uh, a couple of people nearby like uh, you know that much Moving more away like, from you know, us. <laughs> just like oh dear darling let's move over this way uh, you can see like some people clearing out from nearby tables as they're moving uh, away just to get a reaction I'm like I mean, we could just start making out in the middle of the dance floor again but I don't know uh, <laughs> all those the, tales uh, you can see the doesn't have um, to be your last resort but okay <laughs> The, uh, you see Sirius Frostbane, uh, uh, kind of like glances over his shoulder in your direction, uh, momentarily, uh, again, stone faced, uh, you don't really get uh, too much of a reaction from him. Just like acknowledging there's people behind me that are having a very loud conversation right now. Uh, you wink at him. No, I want to, but I'm not gonna. Okay. Um, the, uh, <laughs> he... self-control. He turns back and you can see kind of like leaning over and kind of like almost like tuning out of the conversation for a moment. Uh, the uh, uh, Princess Solis like looks behind to see like who's making this conversation. Who's like, who's doing this right now? Uh, yeah, a bit of surprise. Uh, Him I'll wink at if he makes eye contact. Yeah, he does. Uh, I think he looks around and uh makes eye contact with you briefly he was you give a wink uh he kind of gives a slight grin um there's a few more moments of like conversation uh between him and the uh the magnetera uh until uh finally you see the um he kind of gives like a polite like uh, uh like in like a bow, like a bow of respect, more like deference, uh, and uh, they do the same, uh, or the uh, the oracle does the same, uh, and the the oracle, Sirius, and their small little contingent of uh, magnetary kind of meander away uh, from the conversation, um, and uh, the prince uh, uh like finishes his drink and uh sus suspends it on the table uh and uh kind of steps forward you see one of his security guards kind of moves up and he just like puts uh like puts a hand on their chest and like gives them a gesture of like stay right where you are uh and uh comes swaggering up to the uh the table oh, here we uh go. Uh, with the two of you, and oh, excuse me, my best Dracula right now. Um, Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this to me. You can't. Hello, do this. I am Prince of Soul. <laughs> you no, can't. Uh, I'll quit. <laughs> he says, uh, <laughs> and again, full I'm like uh, <laughs> MacGyver, <laughs> not MacGyver, uh, Maverick, uh, like Top Gun jacket. I like, forgot he was dressed. I was as he was That's dressed so much as better. Oh my uh, god. White. T-shirt underneath, yes. uh, uh, jean like really tight-fitting jeans. Uh, I'm also imagining some, uh, that boots. we are both like, I'm just ex really exaggerated, like leaning on the table, like ass out, like just <laughs> yeah, yeah just like just so like... dramatically, like oh god, <laughs> um, just like <laughs> leaning and just like drinking the champagne, like he uh, he comes swaggering up and says. Doesn't sound like the two of you are having much fun. Are these things ever fun? Hmm. Oh, hello. Apologies. We can get a little loud sometimes. 
it's not my party. I don't really uh, carry the way. Uh, I'll tell you a secret. Not a big fan of these things either. Okay. So, why does everyone pretend they enjoy them? Do people actually enjoy them? I think some of these people that, just enjoy that being guy in a looks bad like mood. he's actually having a good time, and that's terrifying to me. I think people have um, pretended to enjoy them for too long, and we've just convinced ourselves that we do. I mean, like, I love hanging out with frenemies and all, but every now and then I just want to come to one of these things and see somebody, like, actually get into a fight. Uh, probably be disappointed at this one then. Mm. Yeah, last one we went to, we spiked the punch, and that was something. Yeah, a group, a group of like old people all on like hallucinogenics. It was absolutely hilarious. It was awesome. Shame I must have missed that event. I haven't seen the two of you around before. Um, Justinian. Hi, I'm Ruby. Nice to meet you. Keith. Ruby, Keith. Can I get the two of you a drink? No. <laughs> Keith, you grabbed a whole tray, but... <laughs> ah, champagne's lightweight stuff. <gasps> Something harder, then? Why not? I got nowhere to be tomorrow. All right. Uh, he uh, gestures over one of the uh, Orion uh, bots who moves over and says... <clears throat> Prince Justinian, how may I help you? Uh, and the, uh, the the prince says, <clears throat> uh, "Can we get two bottles of Lurian whiskey?" Uh, and the uh, Orion bot says, "Of course, sir, right away." Uh, and uh, goes uh, kind of like the, the you don't the bot doesn't move. Uh, it just kind of like goes back into kind of a stasis mode. Uh, and you see like uh, over near the bar, like a uh, uh, like a another bot uh, begins to like walk over with a tray of drinks. Uh, comes back to the table, uh, sets a, uh, sets two bottles of this like very high uh, proof uh, or like like very fine high quality whiskey uh you would know that like this is this is like top shelf stuff uh this is like black label uh uh luckily the, i'm imagining shiro and niren at this point can drink most people under the table probably we'll make some we don't have a problem a uh it's coping sweaty <laughs> and uh have you heard of uh, it uh, and three glasses down in front of you as well. Uh, uh, it, it begins to pour, and uh, the bot begins to like open them and pour. Uh, and uh, the prince uh, says, oh, "I got it, I got it." Uh, takes the uh, uh, takes the bottle and pops it open, and pours you, gives you all a heavy pour. It's a fancy title for a leather jacket. Oh, um, <clears throat> just trying to you know have some fun, blend in a bit. Oh, your secret safe with us. Appreciate it. Not that I imagine it's a pretty well kept secret here with uh, these ones lurking around. He gestures back to the four uh, House of Soliuska uh, combat officers or uh, uh, security. Niren like officers. blows them a kiss. <laughs> uh, they they are unmoving. <laughs> this completely. They're they're wearing full helmets. You can't even see their faces. They're just like completely like unflappable. Uh, and Under there, says, one of them's blushing a little bit. Probably, yeah. Uh, he says, yeah. I mean, benefit of these sort of things is that I don't have to pretend to be someone else, but the downside is got to keep up appearances, you know? Pretend to be someone else. Naughty. <laughs> well, when you uh, come from the one of the noble houses, it's uh, no matter how far down the line you are, it's hard to do anything without somebody asking why. Mm. Keeping up appearances at all. Yeah. yeah so I mean, drab. I think so. I bet you can't do anything fun with those lurking about. No, I mean, I think the opposite. I think somebody in your position could do whatever the hell they wanted here. Well, if you slip the guard. <laughs> oh, it can't be that hard. Look at him. How can they even see out of this? Uh, easier to ditch than you'd think. I've had to on a couple of times. Um, Ah, you probably want to hear all about what I've gotten up to. What what sort of things, what, what line of work are the two of you in? <laughs> work? 
<laughs> uh, 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 no. Um, uh, I, I, no, no jobs. Um, we, uh, 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 I guess you could say we're professional parties. Uh, uh, we float. Fine. Ethereally and elegantly. <laughs> well, uh, sounds like you might be the most, two most interesting people here, so i have to see uh, what kind of floating you do. Well, uh, I mean, uh, you might not want to um, associate with uh, two troublemakers like us. We have been known to um, cause a scene. We can leave kind of a bad taste for uh, the buttoned up. Do I look buttoned up? You certainly don't. Come on, let's have some fun. Uh, while this is going on, Anir and Will, thank you for the reminder, Sita, uh, sent a uh, force whisper um, to Splat uh, and say, Got you know, him. <laughs> maybe a good time to read some surface thoughts on our new friend. Yeah, I would like to do that. I okay. also would like, uh, while they were doing that initial chatting, to have um, used the, you know, first few seconds of that power to get the surface thoughts off of uh, old Gentech, Mister. Yeah, I want to know what he's up to. Interesting. Uh... So they can't notice unless there's some sort of outside thing that they can notice that they can't notice it if I'm just reading their surface thoughts. I can yeah. probe deeper, which will hurt them, and then they will definitely know I'm doing it. But. Mm -hmm. But as okay. long as you guys are asking him questions and he's thinking about it. Oh, uh, he's so thinking about it. We're gonna I'm about start... to do the most juvenile thing in the entire world and I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're going to start with, uh, so you're, you're first passing over uh, this Gentech employee uh, mm -hmm. to see what, what his deal is. Um, so uh, you are... Is you is he gonna probe his mind again? It's like kind of half in conversation with the person next to him, um, and you catch uh, his uh, <clears throat> like kind of surface thoughts. Like as it moves away from the conversation, he takes a sip of his drink. You can see kind of like he doesn't look super happy to be here. Uh, not like like some of the other people like he's not even like really pretending like he wants to be here it just seems like he uh is just kind of like passing the time until the auction starts uh and uh in his thoughts uh you just hear kind of briefly uh him uh kind of move to this better not be a waste of my time again I hope it's the real thing. Otherwise, I'm billing double on my expense report. Okay. I might move into conversation with him, but not yet. Okay. Uh, instead, you, you then focus your efforts mm -hmm. over at the... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the... <clears throat> the others, uh, and uh, probing the mind of... Uh, uh prince justinian um and yeah i i think uh his thoughts are i mean in this moment uh you uh he there's a moment as he like first enters the conversation before it's like completely taken up by everything like the conversation he's having with them like as he's like approaching some of you're kind of catching him them at uh, catching him at, like the front end of that uh is uh <clears throat> well at least i won't be bored the whole time dealing with those church nut jobs <sighs> this will pass the time uh, and as he's like eyeing them over, you get a lot of surface thoughts about, you know, specifically directed at like Shiro and Niren and, you know. I will pass all that information along to them as well. Too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just a lot of like. He's a boob man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like taking in different things. It's like, damn, he's got some nice pecs. And uh, looking down and then going over near to like, just like, you know, very like 
very surface thoughts uh, about uh, how hot the two of them are. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what you get uh, immediately when he's talking to them. It's going well so far. Keep it up. Ask him something. It's been a while. Should we play Truth the Dare again? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, it was so much fun the last time. We haven't... Oh, come, come on. Oh, fine. Whatever. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. I don't remember half of last time. Thanks, <laughs> Okay, well, look. You... I, I might have gotten you drunk, but you're the one who dared me to steal that stupid ring. That was pretty good. <laughs> That's that pretty good. That was just pretty good. the most right. ridiculous thing. So, okay, you might not remember, but I do remember, and I feel like that might be worse. I don't think I've played Truth or Dare since I was at university. Uh, sounds... I mean, like, every now and then it's fun to break uh, it on adulthood, especially at these things. Let's do it. All right. That sounds fun. Should we let our um, newest friend go first? Oh, no, please. You're the experts. You go first. Oh, that's fine. I'll go. All right. Near and truth or dare. Okay, no, it's you're not too near early. Here. I'm just no, looking, I'm I'm looking yep. at the overlay. <laughs> here, ruby on. here. Ruby here. A ruby here. <laughs> okay, first of all, it's too early in the night for nudity, so don't you dare. <laughs> but dare. Uh, nothing I haven't seen before. Hmm. See, here's the thing. I'm at in real life. I'm really bad at truth or dare. <laughs> oh no! Okay, okay, I'm okay. So sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, I put you on the spot. Okay. <laughs> I put us all on the spot. To be honest. Okay. No, 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 no. You know what? Let's start simple. Two whiskey shots. Okay. That's an easy dare. Uh, the. Hey, uh... Darling, will you pour them for me? Of course. Uh, it slides over. <laughs> uh, uh, slides over one of your uh, uh, slides over one of the glasses and uh, pours it for you. Uh, he's uh, like pours it, pours it a little bit uh, like heavier than a shot. Uh, it's like, oh, sorry, my hand slipped. Mm, mm hmm. I bet. Um, that was a lie. His hand did not slip. <laughs> 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 Um, she will legitimately take one of them. Okay. And then I would like to, um, coyote ugly sleight of hand. Okay. <laughs> a, a, uh, you know, take the second one. And then since I've got a, a drink, since I'm assuming he has like ice in it, you know what I mean? From his heavy hand, I would like to like take that one and then like jokingly like chase with my like glass of whiskey like theatrically yeah. but like get rid of the second shot into okay. my glass of uh, whiskey yeah 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 uh okay so uh we'll do a sleight of hand instead of a constitution saving throw uh so i've only go. been sipping on champagne and barely sipping on this whiskey and i would like yeah. to sleight of hand the second you one you can make a sleight of hand and if Shira's in on the fact that y'all are trying to rate the game Shira, you can try to help too if you if you want i've yeah. got a plus seven i'm feeling pretty good about it but i'll, I'll help but I, I i think i'm mostly just helping by like a, a kind of like because i imagine we're all like very works. close together yeah, yeah so just yeah. kind of like leaning a little bit like oh, okay okay like you know hey a little shoulder nudge we're starting off easy starting off easy yeah oh that's a dirty 20 with okay. with the help uh hold on let me check his passive while he's looking at that um i'm gonna slap one of you two with my critical analysis, uh, which means that as long as I have that on you, you can end it at any time and add uh, my intelligence modifier, which is a three to an attack roll ability check or savings throw. So if you need a little extra bump on on one of them, I'll let you guys decide which, which one of you you think might need it more. Okay. Uh, he doesn't seem to notice as you... Uh, as you uh, 
manage to subtly deposit the, the second shot uh, and not uh, not take it, uh, keeping from uh, getting too drunk. And she uh, theatrically like gives a bow after she yeah. like takes ah, her second I shot. I should have known that one was too easy. <sighs> Said, so, yeah, I should go for uh, definitely need to up our game next time. All right, who's next? I guess that's me. All right, truth. Do you want to ask? <laughs> truth. All right, truth. Hmm. Trying to think what he would ask. Okay, see, truth or dare is hard. It's hard oh, to be I'm, like. I'm locked and loaded. You gotta do it in character. He says. It's hard. I've always been so bad at it. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> he uh like <laughs> gestures uh towards the uh like <laughs> oh no 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 please don't do that um. All right, uh, I can't think of anything too crazy. He just, he uh, he looks at you and says, all right. Out of everyone in this, uh, at this party, who would you sleep with? Are we counting this table? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Not including yourself. Uh, well, that <laughs> takes my answer, I guess. I know offense, Ruby, but none taken. Been there, done that. I mean, who wouldn't sleep with a prince, right? Come on, you're just flattering me. Uh, that's not really my jam. All right, I'll take the flattery then. Never turned it down before. Yes, it's my turn. It is truth or dare, darling. It's gotta be dare. <gasps> okay, I dare you to get up on one of these mag tables and three, sing three lines from your favorite. Hold on, what's her name? Vega X. Vega X song. We're so on the same page. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, he. Uh, he looks at you. I mean, you just and... like, just like that scene from Top Gun, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know old movies. <laughs> Am I the worst? You want to be Mav? Be Mav. Uh, he uh, put up or shut he up. laughs. Be Mav, he laughs and he says, <laughs> he says, still starting off easy, I see. Uh, and he like downs his drink. Uh oh, we might uh, have to keep this one. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, <laughs> He, uh, <laughs> he immediately, uh, kind of, you see, uh, look the table neck, not your table because you got drinks and stuff on it, uh, table next to you, it's got like people standing at it. Uh, he just walks over and says, excuse me a second. Uh, and just like full on like leap jumps up on the table and kind of like stabilizes himself like the, you know, cause it's hovering. So it's not like quite stable. It kind of like rocks a bit underneath him. Uh, oh, there's and... no way he doesn't like surf and shit, right? Oh, like yeah, yeah. he's, yeah. Uh, and as he kind of stabilizes himself on his table, uh, uh, on the table, uh, he like looks across the bar uh, at uh, at Vega uh, X uh, and just begins and belt and like begins to just belt out uh, uh, the lyrics to one of her songs, which I don't know what it would sound like, but he does. Uh, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a little make a check for him. Uh, how good is he? Was not, not as great, but uh, we're just gonna do a is little. Is it terrible and funny, or is it great and funny? <laughs> the the role will decide. Uh, and that's a twelve. I think it's a little. I think it's uh, it's that kind of like endearing, but kind of tone deaf. He's not a singer, uh, uh, and he belts out. You can see like the the guards kind of like move forward a bit like kind of looking at each other like you, you almost hear the stormtrooper it's like yeah. sir what do we do what are they gonna do <laughs> tell him to stop stop uh, singing on a table 
the Magnetera uh, kind of look over like a bit very confused in this moment. Everyone seems a bit thrown off. Uh, he finishes his performance uh, and uh, jumps down off of the table. Uh, and uh, a couple of people applaud. You see uh, Vega X is like in the middle of a conversation. Like uh, she's like applauding uh, uh, heavily and she kind of like uh, runs over to him and like uh, exchanges a brief con conversation. She's like, that was so good. Thank you so much. Uh, and and uh, just very like glad handy, uh, and uh, he gives a little like bow, and then comes back to the uh, to the table with y'all. You know, I gotta say, I didn't think you'd do it. You're so much more fun than I thought you were going to be. I don't blame you for that with titles and everything, but uh, nice just getting started. Let's keep going. Uh, so the three of you continue to play uh, True That. We won't play out every round yeah, of no. this, but I do want to know, like, <laughs> what are you angling to get, like, where are you angling to get to on this one? And we can go back to Splat quickly if y'all want to think about that and, like, where you're trying to get to with this thing. I mean, we're uh, going to dare him to steal some shit, right? You're yeah. going to dare him to steal the... Yeah, uh, we're getting to the point that he's having so much fun with us that we can... We're getting to the point that, like, the dares are going to get consecutively, like, big, let's do bigger. Some crazy shit. And yeah. and then we're gonna dare him to steal the um, keychain. The keychain, and then the goal I think is to like end the night like with him, so that we can take the data core off him. Yeah, off okay. of him. All right. That's that's where we're. I think that's where we're both angling yes, for. That's <laughs> okay. correct. Uh, back to uh, splat. Uh, you're at the bar. Uh, you see the shenanigans going off as Princess Ola, like, you know, you're cycling connected and stuff as he's jumping up on a table and they're taking shots and there's a lot of commotion going on at that table. I think see Shiro's every cool now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone around the bar is like, you see the stuffed shirts, like, uh, you know, people, there's some people that are like legitimately like, oh dear, like how this, and there are some people that are looking over like envious at that table. It's like, I wish I was with the cool kids. What's We're going to uh... start a fucking rager. What's the Gentech guy? What's his reaction? Uh, his reaction is kind of a... Um, he's like... Uh, it's going to be one of those, isn't it? He doesn't seem pleased. Did he say that? Is that... Uh, I think he thought that you got that in his in his okay. head. Okay. Um... So he seems he seems kind of like... It, it, like when you're at a bar and there are, there's one table is just making like a ton of noise and stuff and it's not like you know he doesn't really have a stake in it but it's also just like ah, it's just annoying like these people are acting like like idiots okay um i think splat is going to um activate their data pad like uh like making a call but they're not actually going to call anyone okay uh and then they're going to start half of the conversation um Splat is very intelligent. They're trained in technology. They're trained in bioanalysis kits and geneticists uh, apparatus or whatever it's called. So Splat is going to act half of a conversation about like, did you finish the tests? What do you mean the RNA dupla <laughs> count was seven quoted? Uh, CETA doesn't know it. Just say yeah, it, but... say it with confidence. You say yeah. with confidence, anything sounds legit. Yeah, so yeah. you just start spouting off some, like, science BS. Uh -huh. Okay. And maybe uh, make it sound interesting, a little theoretical, and get kind of angry at the person on the other end, and then hang up on them. Okay. So what I will let you do here is uh, you could do a... I mean, it sounds like it would either be tech or medicine, depending on like which way you're going with like the the bio side or like the tech side um it, it sounds like it'd be like that we're gonna kind of flavor that as like a persuasion check though you, okay. i'm gonna let you roll one of these things and we'll count it like a persuasion i'll uh i'll do medicine yeah okay poop i mean it's 13. can i pump that with anything hang on one second here pump it louder louder uh, I don't think I can. Okay. No. No, I got nothing that'll, that'll increase that. Okay. Um, you, uh, 13. Um, I'm just going to roll wisdom for him. Let's do that. 
Okay. Um, with 13, uh, you finish, you hang up the phone, uh, kind of putting on the airs of being, you know, this, this performative, uh, uh, like exasperation. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> how close are you sitting to him? I was thinking about, uh, being, I mean, I don't know if there's anyone on either side of him, but being like, uh, uh like at the stool next to him, if possible, uh, but turned away, so like kind of elbows uh, on the bar, uh, facing away from the bar, elbows on the bar, looking at the crowd. You know, martini in hand, was taking photos, phone phone call, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, as you're doing that, and kind of out, you there's a moment of silence. You're like, oh, damn, I don't know if that worked. And you just hear from where he's sitting. It doesn't get up or anything, uh, but he's facing the bar. You can see kind of like you hear his voice uh, uh, directed at you. It says. I guess I'm not the only one working here. Science never takes any time off, does it? Unfortunately not. Sounds like a stressful one. You need a refill? I would love one, please. Lilu Delas. Uh, gestures uh, to the uh, Orion bot who quickly like sh- sh- uh, shakes you up uh, another uh, martini and then uh, pours you uh, and uh, uh, the uh, the gen tech man says uh, sounds like you find yourself in the same line of work that I'm in oh gen tech hmm. well, that's pleasant uh, I'm actually applying uh, for Gentech in the fall. I just graduated from the uh, Solarian University in the Draco sector. Are you familiar? I am. I am. Let's say uh, it's a very good institution. Uh, is uh, Professor Morris still teaching? Uh, I didn't encounter Professor Morris in my time there. Uh, count yourself lucky. Uh, I worked with him for a while. He was a bit of a bastard. Not many of them are, but we get through it, don't we? Mm, we do. Uh, what are my manners? Uh, Boris. Or Boric. Hold on, what's my name again? <laughs> I was right. Yes. It's, uh, yeah, Boric. It's a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure indeed. Lilu. Lilu. Uh, you're applying for uh, Gentech. It's uh, good luck. Uh, have you heard anything back about setting an interview yet? I'm still waiting to hear back, but uh, my advisor says that uh, with grades such as mine, I'm a shoe in. Yeah. I'm sure uh, if your grades are good, that that'll uh, help you get in the door. We, it's competitive, but. Uh, 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 well, it's always competitive, but it's worth it if you have a passion. Mine is in um, psychic genetics. Yours? <laughs> uh, I dabble in many things. It's, uh, I've been out of the lab for a while, but uh, my main focus was uh, xenobiology. Oh, interesting. There's a lot of overlap in those fields. Uh, and I think uh, Splat is going to have <clears throat> a snake-like tongue, like a, a, her, her snake tongue, come out, wrap around the toothpick, and slide the olive off of the toothpick uh, into her mouth, and um, wink at him, but with like the the <laughs> interior <laughs> eyelid. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> Making lizards sexy, baby. Uh, make a, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I know it's not your forte, but no, make a, uh, not. persuasion check. <sighs> I mean, I'll that was like a shit out advantage. That. I'll give you advantage for the sexy lizard. Woo! <laughs> you have to give advantage for the sexy lizard. You have to. And who doesn't find lizards sexy? Yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 23. Uh, you can see that, like, he, uh, he seems to blush a little bit at that, uh, and, uh, takes a, takes a long sip of his drink, uh, he kind of, like, 
shifts a bit to more like face you'd actually have like a like a conversation uh and he says well if uh you know if you've sent in your application you haven't heard anything back yet uh if it's been a while i can um i can reach out to our hiring department and see if uh i could get some answers for you if you wanted to share with me your uh personal information so i can move that along for you I, Boric, are you flirting with me? No, strictly professional. Uh, I, okay, I might have been eavesdropping a bit on your conversation. It sounds like you know your stuff. Oh. It is important to me. Uh, um, do I have like a burner tablet? I would hope that we all have burner tabs. Yeah? Is that a thing that we could say? Yeah. Yeah, it's we're, we're I feel like we're criminals. There's got to be like an app for like, like messaging. You know how you can have like multiple. You can get like a Google phone number or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like we have like that equivalent for like aliases. We could just like easily make like alias account like type things or whatever. Yeah, it's, there's like you have like an iCrime account, uh, which <laughs> <laughs> lets you. City of Ideas. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh. So then I'll. Yeah, I'll like, I don't know how you do it, like pass the my tablet over his tab, his data tab or whatever, and, uh, you know, exchange that information with a, for a, a, a fake one. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, Splat will say, uh, well, I look forward to um, discussing xenobiology with you. Have you ever been to the Draco system? Uh, he, uh, gives a nod and he says, my business has taken me there once or twice. So you're familiar with the local fauna? Intimately. <laughs> Van, sorry. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So what brings so what brings you here to the auction? <laughs> no, no, no. It's good uncomfortable. Ah. <laughs> he says but he does lean in and says intimately and he like brushes his hand against yours as he hands you your data pad back. Will you be uh, on Joy Station long after the auction? Not long, but uh, I could make a moment of time afterwards, perhaps. Oops. Well, if you don't find yourself uh, pulled away too soon, uh, perhaps I'll get an answer on your uh, application and we can meet up to discuss it again. I think I'd like that. Excellent. <laughs> Look, just because you guys are having the fun flirting time doesn't mean I'm not what a doing work What a fucking All right, I'm doing work. No, take advantage of this man. He clearly deserves it. Yeah, what a fucking I, if you don't steal this man's wallet, I'm going to. <laughs> Listen, I'm just yes anding. <laughs> this guy is out. so fucking sleazy. Uh, uh, get him. I don't know what this man's Do have slide number is, too. but in about 15 man. minutes, I will. Uh, it's not very good, him. though. I don't, I don't, I don't want to risk identity. the situation doing that. Okay. No. Um, but I do. Um, I, did I get anything off of uh, his surface thoughts during any of that other than you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, other than the obvious, uh, <laughs> you're talking about <laughs> the local fauna. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to end the stream on this man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it seems like, uh, he is, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, one more time. Hi, mom. <laughs> 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 uh there's a moment where you, you, you know you're talking about like xenobiology you know, and 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 going into or like you're asking about like you're talking about your focus and and like going into like the more like technical assets of it um and his mind is like drawn back to like work uh in that moment and kind of like focuses and kind of on like maybe distracted for a moment um and <sighs> You, uh, like, he's thinking to his head, he says, 
at least this uh, trip might not be a total waste. Uh, and uh, in his mind, he almost like versus. Well, let's focus. We need to ensure that uh, we secure the crystal before uh, any other activities. Who's crystal? Yep. Okay. Uh, it didn't seem directed at you, uh, just to be clear. Um, but yeah, so I, it, yeah. There's no and there's no thoughts in there that this lizard woman is obviously a, a fake goop. No, you don't get disguise. that. Yeah. as like, yeah. yes, yeah. this is obviously <laughs> a goo person in disguise. I must kill it. Yeah, good. That's good. All right. Um, I'm. I hate to, but I gotta. Um, I know. I know we're getting to time, but just so you know, good. this is. I've got to refocus my. Uh, sense thoughts back on the prince okay we'll we'll cut back to the prince so we don't end on the skeezy uh <laughs> gen tech employee uh your your uh your truth i almost said rock paper scissors your truth or dare uh <laughs> we can play rock paper scissors has has escalated i imagine it's like you know from taking shots to uh i, I dancing on table princess only has pretty yeah. much only so only goes for dares <laughs> like that's that's his thing he wants the adrenaline rush of that like so it's it's dare almost every time for him uh we've and, each definitely dared him to make out with the other person right like yeah you you've like the the three of you have have taken shots danced on Hollywood tables kiss shiro yeah, you've, like, you've made bent out. Bent over, like. <laughs> He's fully taken off his shirt. Like, it's yes. there's all sorts of craziness going on. He's so, like, you're getting around to the, uh, <laughs> the, the near big stuff. The lap dance. Like, things are wild. Yes, yeah. it is hot in here. <laughs> yeah. Everybody couple... is watching us at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> we can never come back here. He is readjusting his jacket back on after pulling his shirt back on, and he uh, he says, "Well, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, all right, one more. There. Come on, bring it. Really, bring it. What's something interesting? Okay, on a scale of one to ten, how opposed are you to breaking the law? What law?" There we go. Okay. So. There is this tiny thing up for auction. Should be easy enough to grab. I dare you to steal the Earth Prime Goofy keychain. Go to make a persuasion check for me. I'll give you advantage on it. <gasps> okay. Uh, 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 the, the critical analysis feature too. Does that so work for like, persuasion? Uh, any ability check. Okay. What does yeah. that add? Three. So that's a 18, 19, 20, 21. All right. Couldn't 21. have done it better myself. He, you, and she's like, like leaning into the table. Like he seems like fly, generally like, like is pretty pretty caught off guard for that. Like that's that's a pretty big escalation. And look at her. Uh, Are you gonna tell her no? <laughs> he, uh, I assume y'all are going with the rules. Like if you don't do the dare, you have to like take a drink or something. Like that. Ten, you know, like the actual like party no. Game, truth if or you dare. if you don't do no, the if dare, you don't you do it. You're lose. Lame. Okay. Okay. Well, I was just gonna there's say no, there's like... no consequence. You just lose, which I feel okay. like is worse for a person who likes to play truth or dare and chooses dare every time. He, uh, he like me. <laughs> he thinks for a moment. And, I'm, uh... I'm playing this man like he's me. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Come on. He's Challenge going to ta like he takes a drink. Are you gonna tell him? Thinks now? on it. He says, "Of course not." Just trying to think of the best way to do it. I have to steal it before the auction. Oh no! Just at some point tonight. All right. Before the it auction just needs ends. To disappear. Oh. Before the auction. Ends. So well, okay. So you could let it go for auction and then steal it from a person who bids on it. That is an option. But before the party ends, because yeah, I don't. What if the, it's the last oh, thing? Oh no, that's thing? right. That's I don't know fair. What order it's before in. Before the end of the night, I'll say. Because I mean. <laughs> Our night is not ending at this awful place, right? Oh, of course not. Oh, thank God. 
<sighs> or whatever right. we think in this time period. You think? I mean, you can thank me. Oh, thank you later. I will too. All right. Deal. For the end of the night. I'll get you your uh, keychain. What's this boy thinking? Uh, I don't know if we can say it on stream. <laughs> Other than the stuff I can't say on we stream. We have an adult rating, right? Uh, yeah, a lot of Maybe stuff 18 about... was. Oh, yeah. I checked the mature box years ago. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the on the page uh he uh the day, the day it was started you have to agree that you are an adult to watch this channel uh <clears throat> he his mind kind of like he's thinking about it and kind of going through the process and it's like uh there's a moment where he's like uh dad would be pretty mad if i got busted for stealing from the auction house afterwards probably makes more sense i uh uh his mind kind of drifts for he a could second. literally just buy it uh, no he really could he said I mean, I think I mean, like, he's like, that, like just, yeah just buy it just you could buy just buy it, it. But that seems too easy and there was to steal uh he uh i should have i should have made the dare obtain it but i stealing sounds funnier eh, as a dare. he can interpret it how he wants we're not yeah. gonna be too hard on him he wants his, to buy it. We won't judge him. Uh, judge him his mind, it, his mind goes off and says, "Probably have time. Uh, have that meeting with Oracle Cassia after, but yeah, we can make it work. It's not like the core's going anywhere." Um, and he. Uh, shifts back up and like finishes taking his drink and looks back at the two of you and says okay deal on the uh agreement that after the event we meet back at my place i have to give you the keychain obviously of course and i'm sure we can think of a couple things to give you I mean, like I said, I don't have anywhere to be tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to sleep all day. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully your place is nice. She snores. <gasps> I do not. I was sick one time. He smiles uh, and he uh, <laughs> uh, he uh, like types in on his data pad and like, like air casts something to you and it's the like address for a... Uh, this uh, man is irresponsible. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Irresponsible. So irresponsible. What Sir. made you think this man was responsible? Sir, in any way? you can't just send people you just met your whole address. We are going to rob this fucker blind. Uh, he sends you an address for like a penthouse. As soon as the address pops up, like there's just, it's just, just the tiniest little periphery look between Shiro and Niren that's like, oh, we fucking got this motherfucker. Like. Yeah, all did. Uh, and at that point, uh, like the music begins to die down, the doors doof, open to the auction house, and you see one of the Orion bots, this one is like entirely plated in gold, uh, steps out, and you hear over like the announcement system that same voice says, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, reception has ended, and the auction will begin shortly. Please make your way inside. Uh, and everyone begins to meander in, and he, uh, the prince, uh, gives the two of you a wink and says, "See you after." With with his in interior eyelid as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with his interior <laughs> eyelid as well. Shit. Oh shit! <laughs> There's a word for that. I was trying to remember uh, what the term is. Right. Anyway, I don't uh, know. the uh, and he uh, heads off with his guards as everyone begins to filter into the office. I'll offer my arm to Niren takes it we have got Let's... this motherfucker dead to rights hey yep <laughs> some sir champagne this is gonna be a good night <laughs> a uh, really good night if things go the way that <laughs> just that they were going to go uh <clears throat> i would like since you're not the one hmm, 
I'm thinking well, one last thing to end on. Uh, Splat, make an insight check for me, and I'm going to give you advantage because of your uh, active uh, detect thoughts. Or it does it involve sense. smell? No. 20. 20. Yeah, yeah baby. I'm so proud of you guys for these roles um, on the skills that I'm good at. I feel like Shiro has like imparted Influence some knowledge. Us. Imparted yeah. some knowledge. Yeah, I got that dad advice. I'm so proud. You, uh, I got that daddy advice. Hey. Hey. I'm angry I'm muting myself now. <laughs> As the prince moves out of your way, out of your like your your range for your uh, it, is it called detect thoughts? What what is the uh, probe mind? And probe yeah, it's mind. like it's like thirty feet or something. Yeah. yeah, As he moves out of the range, like your yours kind of your attention shifts and it catches another like you kind of get that like ambient thoughts for a second as you're pulling back and then but you catch something and you hear a voice uh very calm and very like low uh thinking we'll have to keep an eye on these two make sure they don't interfere uh and you see moving behind in the auction house as your attention focuses on uh, Sirius Frostbane uh, as he is moving beside the Oracle, like towards the auction house, his intent entirely focused on uh, Shiro and Niren. Uh, and then there is a moment as his attention drifts over to you sitting at the bar. And he locks eyes with you for a moment and then turns and exits into the auction house. Uh, and that's where we're going to end our session. Oh, he's getting spicy. Yeah, cool. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think this would be a, turn into a game of truth or dare, but uh, that's where we that's got to today. Friends. I, honestly, it was the best hook for the whole thing. Yeah. It really worked out pretty well. Um, so... That's going to be it for our I'm here session for weird right ideas. Now. Yeah. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to see how the rest of the evening goes next time. Uh, before we head out, uh, let's go ahead and uh, go around and do our, do our stars and wishes. Uh, who wants to go first? I can go. <laughs> I nope. beat you. <laughs> take it, take it. Take it away. Um, okay, well, I want to cheat because I want to give a uh, star to both Van and Sita and Val. <laughs> all three of you. Um, and I'm going to do for very specific things for all of them. Um, Sita, the idea of like just constantly reading the surface thoughts was great. And it gave us out of character insight on things. Cause like we haven't, I assume you haven't been passing along like everything that's been coming, especially not the stuff with the, um, with Boric. I didn't say, yeah. Um, I, I yeah. Say so him, I'm I excited have, yeah, to anything see Anything I could have fed you guys how, the, Yeah, I'm excited prince. to see how, or if um, Splat decides to like tell Shiro and Eren, like what's going on with this, like this, <laughs> awfully weird character um i loved that like the passing the information from one character that they were reading like surface thoughts from um but saving the other ones and just like keeping them eternally i thought was like a really fun like instead of passing along everything that they were reading like just going back and forth i i loved that um <laughs> val playing so many random characters tonight and giving them all their own fun personalities i loved it um and then uh van for being exactly the two characters that we designed these characters off of in a party situation. It turned out so perfect and I loved it. Um he takes up again, a little he takes up a little space I, in the same, back of my brain. Yeah, she's just a little piece of a person that like lives in my head all the time. And again, if anybody guesses who Van and I are playing, but in this universe, you get a gifted sub. I'll give you I'll... five dollars. <laughs> I will give you a gifted sub. Um, and uh, it was just really fun. And I liked seeing um, since they've had this like weird little like flirty but not flirty relationship. And they were just like full on in that space. Like I'm excited to see where that goes. Now they've kind of opened that door. Um, and I loved it. And my wish is I want to make this man steal some shit. And I want to steal the data core from him. And I also want to figure out 
who I want I want to I want like some sort of Gentech altercation, whether it's with Boric or whatever. But I want us to figure out what's going on with Splat, like just just too late. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that's my real wish. It's like, Slad doesn't give us quite enough information, and then everything goes to hell. Maybe not here, but, like, a little bit later. And I want to see, like, how that goes. Like, we get, like, a... So that's like, oh, yeah, so I got some information from this person, and, like, they're, you know, like, whatever, Gentech or something, and we're just like, oh, As the battle okay. cruiser is and, like, and, Yeah, <laughs> and then it's just like, uh, oh, we know who you have on board, and we're like, the did you not tell us everything we needed to know about the situation, babe? Like, I'm entitled to privacy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, until it means we're all getting mom. killed. Come yeah. on, mom. <laughs> I'm excited to the I mom. I can't tell you. reading my journal. Yeah, I can't excited. tell you about the every mega corporation that. that's after yeah. me. <laughs> I want like, want, like the mom and dad situation where like the teenager gives them like only just enough information, and then like a couple days later, you're like. You definitely didn't tell me everything I needed to know about the situation. Like, I just, I, that's what I want eventually. I was like, maybe not, yeah. you know, just now, but a little bit later. Like, you gave us some information, but not everything we needed, baby. <laughs> definitely. Uh, all right. Thank you, Rachel. Who's next? Me. Go. I have a, also have a specific star for everyone. Okay. They're very specific. Extremely specific moments. Um... Uh, Rach, it's gotta go to Truth or Dare. It was the perfect in. It was literally the perfect in to what we wanted to do. An incredible uh, suggestion. Um, Sita, the wink with the inner eyelids. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Truly incredible detail. Val, you have a gift. And the gift is for playing weird sleazy men. <laughs> 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 and I don't know if I like it, but I respect it. <laughs> Listen, so many of the times that it. happens, it's not because I wanted the guy to be weird and sleazy. No, no, no. This it was just goes no, that way. This is not your fault at all. Uh, um, it's just that you have a gift. <laughs> I have two superpowers, and one is soda based, and the other is based on weird, creepy men. Um, and. <laughs> Uh, I just I was taken back to um, to my my excellent moments with the Magister in in Dragon Age when we were in Tevinter. Um, oh, yeah, I was like that all flirting. over again. Oh, I forgot about Magister that guy. Magister Tomas, yeah. Um, yeah. Ne never forget about him. He lives in my brain. He gave me his <laughs> ring, his signet ring. Um, yeah, yeah. You was... have a you have a power. Yeah, and it's channeling sleazy. Yeah, they don't men. Sound I'm real excited about it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm not. That's you not what I want to be like known it, for. But you I don't have to drop it. Brand. Yeah. Yeah. Look, not all powers I, are ones that we. I want. really Sometimes wasn't the going. Ones that we get. I just have to say, I really wasn't going into that with this guy being like. Oh no, I'd that was Cita's motive. fault. Well, and the re I have very specific reasons for following Sita's lead with this character. Uh, and so, okay. like, I was like, all right, this is the way we're going. I'm leading into yeah, this. Yeah, You were sure. led there. You were led there. I say, like, you know what, honey, say whatever makes you feel better. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, Honestly, I didn't know how I was going to, like, interact with him either. I just, the image of using the long tongue to get the olive and the, yeah. the wink just came into my head and I needed to use it. So, yeah. yeah. The the tongue was yeah. something, but it was really the 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 inner eyelid that got me. I was like, oh yeah, yeah this is my this is my really thought something. with it. This just needed to be the episode where we all flirted with someone. Yeah. And my thought with it, as with any like you, DMing or improving, whatever you would call it, is like I have an option here. I can yes and, and I can double down on like I have two options. Either guys, I can double down on this guy being a creep and flirting with like a recent grad school graduate trying to get a job at his company or i can go no <laughs> and walk away from that uh -uh. situation you know but <laughs> is a powerful tool it is uh but I, those are the but two the yes and was better and what i'm saying answer. is maybe you thank should accept yourself thank you i'll <laughs> i'll do some soul searching <laughs> uh Van, I don't uh, think we got a wish. No, I want to know what the. Um, it's also I have some very specific moments, but the prince has another meeting with the Magnetera Oracle, and I want to know what that shit's about. I yeah. want to know what's going on with with him and the Magnetera. 
for sure. Definitely. I will force myself into that situation if necessary. I I want to know. Oh yeah, we'll just like stumble into the room like we're making out if we have to. Yeah. <laughs> and bust up that meeting. I'll get him drunk as hell so he'll tell me what's going on. Like don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm you not might no, find no out shame. one way or another. Uh All right. Let's uh end it with Sita. Uh, I guess it only makes sense that I do three, right? I mean, it was a fucking jam-packed night. Um, I think I, uh, Vans, uh, has got to be the, uh, oh, she snores comment. I love that one <laughs> so much. Uh, um, uh, and, oh, God, and Niren's, uh, you know, in response to, well, I, you know, I've got to give you the keychain, and you were like, yeah, we could give you something else back. I was like, what? <laughs> Jeez. It was so foul of me. I'm so sorry. So this foul. This episode was one so me. Foul. horny. This episode yeah. was horny. I I felt a real competition with with Rachel to yes to like one up the yeah. <laughs> the innuendo. I didn't have to do a whole lot of heavy lifting, which was nice. Yeah. <laughs> I but you know who did? This fucking vow session. Like I can't personally handle being flirted with by one person that takes all of my girlfriend flirts with me and i get uncomfortable okay it takes all of my power you had three uh, people will. flirting it with you will. in two separate instances and you kept that shit on tight so well fucking well done Cita, run, a <sighs> run a one shot i dare you you play with us long enough you'll get there <laughs> yeah, I, I I will say like I'm only going to make unflirtable characters. That's it's all. It's all oh, going to be Carvers ah. and Ziggies and shit from now on. <laughs> I it really came down <laughs> to just having to fully get into the character's headspace to be okay. Because me being myself, if I if I drifted back into my own headspace, it just would have been like silent screaming the entire time. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, I'm thinking uh, about Sita's character. You're talking about Carter and Ziggy, but like Carter did some flirting in his time and we know he's super into like daddies, yeah, yeah. pirate captains and Ziggy's definitely a silver fox, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really funny because I, I think the one that caught me off I was prepared for the flirting from Shiro and Niren for with the prince like that. I saw. It coming Do you from. mean Van and Rach? <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming from a light year away. Uh, the, what the tongue and the flinking completely caught me off guard <laughs> with uh, <laughs> with Splat. Uh, and I, I know like, Val could hear me just shouting, "I'm uncomfortable." <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had a fun yeah. Way. It was it was so good. Uh, oh your wish, man! Your wish, Sita. Um. Uh, you know, I mean, what it, could it, you uh, want? Like, my wish is that I want to get uh, find out more about the Gentex shit, but I kind of fucked myself on that one too. I don't want to continue this. I'm I'm also gonna have to continue this shit for a second, or just kill me. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something. I, out. I'm seriously hoping that you get this guy alone and then just like torture him for information, please. I can't deal with this no, get, the situation no getting horny. Uh, I'm way well, better not, at that. No, no you're fine. No, interrogating him for information. Uh, and then I, this con this situation gets to a point, and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, I hit that same point too. It was like, okay, so here's my information. So, see you later. <laughs> yeah, the uh, same thing happened with the Magister and Tevinter. It was just like, it got to a point and I was like, fam, please pull the ripcord on this. I cannot keep doing this with this guy. Yeah. Uh, it was I mean, so much you made him touching. a creep. I know. I didn't was so make much... him a creep. Uh, he could you went nice. looking specifically for a creep. <laughs> you no, did go looking. <laughs> I went looking for somebody who would uh listen, horny and creep are not the same thing. <laughs> Fair enough. I went looking for somebody. We're gonna go back and check the footage on that one. <laughs> who would be particularly um oh what am I trying to say? Pliable. Oh uh, well, I don't uh. <laughs> Manipulatable? Uh, particularly open, I guess, to Venon's feminine wiles. Yeah. 
Listen. I don't know. Need to go back dress, and watch. Okay? Need to go back and watch that because uh, I feel like I remember you going. Who's the creepiest person here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Bevan doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I don't play charisma based right. characters to be nice. Or I think I just introduced that guy's being incredibly drunk and, and that was the person you went for. Uh, well, so, I mean, yeah. Uh, all drunk, right. Drunk, rich, old man. Whatever. I'll pretend he's my type. We are over time, y'all. So we're I'm going to go so ahead. over tolerance. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this out here. Thank you, everyone out there, for watching if you made it through this session. Uh, if you made it through this session, you're fucking welcome. You're yeah, welcome. You're welcome. Uh, we will be back in two weeks to continue our game. Uh, in the meantime, join us on Saturday for our double header creature feature of uh, Strixhaven playing D&D 5th edition. Fan runs that, doing some candle key mysteries, and then Blades in the Dark in the afternoon uh, where we do crime and so and uh, emotional trauma. I'll give you this. Uh, Strixhaven's pretty wholesome. Yeah. Hearts of Stone, pretty not wholesome so much. and nice. <laughs> I do not. I don't run anything wholesome. I can't remember the last time I ran a wholesome game. You get Saturday morning wholesome cartoons. Yeah. And you get Saturday night HBO Max. drama. <laughs> yeah. That's GGK on Saturdays. To my lovely players for making this game a joy to run, uh, and thank you everyone out there for watching. We will see you in two weeks, and until next time, good game, and good night, Internet. <laughs>